But uh, Dellinger had him played about right, so one up and one down. Zach Blaylock, the catcher. Let me tell you something you want to practice tonight, Milton, mm -hmm. and you already do it anyway, keeping balls and strikes. Oh, yeah. When you go to Independence, the scoreboard sits like this, and the fence, I know people can't see what I'm showing here, but the fence is up about on about a scoreboard about a foot, the new fence they put up, so yeah. you can't see balls and strikes on the scoreboard. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I try to keep them in my book best I can. You can uh, see just a glimpse of it, so you can almost tell what the number is, but, you know, you can't be sure. Well, now nobody on pitch to Zach Blaylock down low, ball one. Did you tell our umpire's names? I will. Okay. Terrence Jones behind the plate. Brian Turner is at first base, and Darren Tyson is over at third. Three umpires here in the second round of all four of the series. Pitch is high ball two, two and oh on Blaylock. Logan Shearer on deck. And the 2-0 pitch coming up from Heath King. <laughs> and it is popped out of play. A John Brown Allstate insurance foul ball. will be a car back there. Needs to go see their insurance man. And hopefully it's John Brown. You know, Milton, you mentioned as we as we started with the first pitch that it was raining. But I will say this. It's not raining hard enough, really, that we can even see it. It is raining hard enough that there are a few umbrellas up. So. And is you're right. The two, one pitch is called a strike by Terrence Jones. Two and two on Zach Blaylock, the catcher, right-handed batter for Men Hill. And the pitch, back at the pitcher, Heath King. Keith, Heath King will underhand toss to uh, first baseman Cameron High for the putout. One to three. There's two up, two down. Men Hill in the camouflage shirts, gray pants, numerals impossible to read. Cherryville in the red shirts and white pants with readable numbers. Yeah, you can't tell from here, but that's kind of a bluish green like on their on their uniforms. The gray and the bluish green. And then you put the cut the number on there that's the same bluish green as the shirt is, and it's tough. Yeah, very tough. Curveball, missed high. One ball, no you strikes. know what the good thing is that the difference in this than football and basketball, at least you know who's supposed to be where yeah. in baseball. In football and basketball, it would really be a fiasco trying to get those numbers. Exactly. The, I've seen some basketball uniforms that were hard to and read. North Gaston used to wear football jerseys that were gold with a little bit darker gold, I think it was, numbers. That was that was pretty tough. Any gold numbers, even if it's on white, is, is hard to figure. 2-0 and oh on Logan Shearer, the pitcher, right-handed batter. He's a big guy. Did he play last night or two nights ago? He foul did. ball. He did. Another John Brown he All-State foul ball. Something that those guys down there said they had, probably hadn't seen before. He had an O for night. Mm. I had him one other game this year, Milton. He was five for five. But uh, he is headed to UNCC to pitch yeah, next big, year. Big man. Big he man. is that. Two and one, two out, nobody on top of the first for Men Hill. We're just underway here at Fraley Field, game two of the series. That's three out of five. Cherryville winners of game one, and here's a fly ball. Right fielder back, back. Dellinger circles under now and makes the catch. Two putouts out there in right field by yes, Cody sir. Dellinger. It's three up, three down for Men Hill in the top of the first. Half inning on the scoreboard. Men Hill zero, Cherryville coming to bat, and we'll be right back. If you want to be treated like family, stop by the drugstore in Lincoln and Vail or Boger City and you will get just that. The drugstore is locally owned and operated. George and his staff take great pride in giving all their customers fast, efficient, quality customer service. They can help you with any prescription or home health care need you may have. Find them on Facebook or at tdspharmacies.com. The drugstore would like to welcome you to their family. Your full-service service center for your automobile is Rick's Automotive on East Main Street in Cherryville. They do it all at Rick's Automotive. Rick Walker and his staff is dedicated at providing you the best in automotive care. From an oil change to a tune-up, from a tire alignment to a full set of new tires, from heaters to air conditioners, you can get it done at Rick's Automotive. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30. Rick's Automotive, 1001 East Main Street in Cherryville. Call 435-3801. Friends, let's stop spending our weekends driving back and forth from some home improvement warehouse. Let's make one trip to Ace. Get help quickly from people who know their stuff. 
and do it all before our second cup of coffee. Get your weekend back. Ace can help you quickly turn your to-do list into a to-done list. To help out with your weekend projects, see Ferguson's Ace Hardware. Ferguson's Ace Hardware on Highway 150 East in Cherryville, helping you out with your weekend project. Ace, the helpful place. Sponsor again is John Brown Allstate Insurance. Run sponsor, Rocky Bennett Insurance. Inning sponsor, Billy Rowland State Farm Insurance sponsors the third inning. Our uh, post-game show is brought to you by Cherryville Printables. Our call to the bullpen by Alcom Mini Storage. Our best defensive player of the game by uh, First Baptist Church and the Creek Coffee House in Cherryville. Best hitter, offensive award, medical center pharmacy, and overall player of the game by Peak Resources, Cherryville. And the big man on the hill finishing his warm-up tosses is number 10, Logan Shearer, right-hander. Coming up mm-hmm. for Cherryville, Cody Dellinger. Dellinger, yes, Naren, and Beam here. Good shutdown inning in the first there by Heath King. And I want to mention again, uh, two nights ago down at Independence, what a nice outing that Brandon Alexander had on the mound. He uh, pitched well. He, he gave a couple runs in the third inning, but Cherville able to overcome it. And, uh, you know, he scattered some hits. I mean, they had they had some hits on the night, but uh, he did a real good job to scatter them and, and uh, didn't get the win, but uh, mm-hmm. pitched real well in a no decision. And the first pitch to Dellinger is taken for strike one from Shearer. Dellinger, a left-handed hitter, playing right field tonight, and the pitch bounces away, ball one. What that thing hit? I must have hit on plate. It sounded like it hit in here, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Went off of there and bounced high like a pop-up. Shearer is a right-handed pitcher out of East Mecklenburg High School, just graduated where he did his high school play. 1-1 one, one pitch is a base hit up the middle for Dallinger past the diving shortstop. He's really been hitting the ball well out of that leadoff spot. And uh, he's getting involved in the game early here. He had two yes, putouts in the top of the first in right field, and now he gets a base hit leading things off for left-handed hitter Caleb Naren. One-man show so far here. Nope. Naren <laughs> handling the yes at second base. Naren, uh, who can play several of infield positions and outfield. He bunts third base side. Third baseman's got it. Throw will get Naren, but a sack. Uh, well, he did bunt. his job. Mm-hmm. Caleb Naren did, does his job, the 5-3 to three put out, but he gets credited with the sack, and, you know, as we mentioned all too often, bunting is a lost start, but that was a nice one. He did good on that bunt down the third base line, and you never know, and a little bit of wet field, you never know what might happen on something like, like that. Third baseman could have slipped, could have dropped the ball. Mm-hmm. Ball could have been wet, could have had trouble throwing. But uh, runner at second now, one out for left-handed hitter Josh Beam. Beam against Shearer here. The bottom of the first, no score. You're just tuning in or viewing in as we got timeout. And the Already. Coach, coach coming to the mound. Mm-hmm. Quick sprint out there. Head, that's head coach Stu Brown, too. So mm-hmm. he sees something that or he just wants his team to be aware of here. That uh, I got to think probably on a on a on a uh, <clears throat> looking for a, I don't know if they're looking for a bunt here. What's the signal? Maybe just maybe just changing the signals up with the runner at second mm-hmm. base. Yeah. Will Griffin wearing number twenty six tonight instead yeah. of eighteen. And we'll not be able to see it. One of the coaches was wearing <laughs> twenty six. He's we don't know what he's wearing. Well, as we said earlier, if they're numberless, it would be just about as good. <laughs> they're hard to <laughs> they see. Could put letters on their <laughs> player A, B, C, and or D. all wear the same number. Yeah. <laughs> Now the pitch to Beam is a strike. 0-1 oh, on Josh Beam, center fielder, left-handed hitter. Dellinger at second base. Milton Josh Beam a couple nights ago, two for four with a walk and a triple. On what night would that have been? Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday. I'll listen to you guys. You and Danny did a great job. Enjoyed the broadcast. You kept texting me having fun, saying you are having trouble breathing with that tight game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty close. It was. And the pitch is strike two on Josh Beam. I missed part of the broadcast because of the church council meeting, but I got to hear the end of it. I heard the first little bit when Cherville got a run in the first inning. I won't even ask you if it was a good broadcast because any win is a good broadcast. That's right. Foul tip, <laughs> and uh, Beam is out on strikes on the foul tip caught by the catcher. Round number two, and that'll bring up Cameron High. Yeah, big strike out there for sure. And now it's going to be up to Cameron High. 
if Cherville's going to be able to score, take advantage of that leadoff single by Dellinger. Cameron High, right-hander out of uh, West Lincoln. After one inning, Hickory and Gaston scoreless tonight down at South Point. Pitch from Shear, ball one. Try to update you on all the series. They're so important now in area four. So we do know they're underway in Gastonia mm -hmm. down in Belmont. Yep. 1-0 count in the pitch from Shear. Strike down the middle. Let's throw him a fastball. Cameron High, right-handed hitter, steps back in. Taps that bat on home plate. Lays it over the plate a couple of times. Holds it high. And the 1-1 one -one pitch in the dirt. Locked up by the catcher, Blaylock, Zach Blaylock, the catcher for Men Hill. Two balls and a strike, two out, runner second for Cherville, bottom of the first. Cherville looking to get on the board first here in the ball game. Men Hill went three up, three down in the top of the first. And the curveball, foul tip. And now had the Yep. Cody Dellinger pretty far off second there and no throw from the catcher. Nobody was covering the bag. Yeah, the catcher held the ball for a second. But uh, as you said, the middle infielder's late getting to the bag. And Dellinger probably knew that, that they were so far off. So the reason he got the big lead. The 2-2 two -two and 2 out. Deuces wild here on high and the pitch. Outside, ball three. Hello to Donna Lavery and the family. I understand they were listening in, big loyal listeners of Post 100 Baseball. Thank you for tuning in. 3-2 count. Cameron High, two out and man is second for Cherryville. Bottom of the first, the pitch is high, ball four. Yes, it is. High to high. High to ball high four. and high to hope. So two men aboard now as Cameron High draws that two-out walk. Two runners aboard, Dellinger still at second. Big play in the game uh, Wednesday night. Come off the bat of this young man, sure Tyler Shoemaker. A uh, ball that was hit well into was the center field. Left center field and yeah. the center field. You know, Danny and I thought he actually had it, and then we saw it hit the ground. But, boy, he gave it a ride, yes, about five feet shy of the wall. Yeah. And it's uh, ball one to... Big Tyler Shoemaker, DHing for Heath King, the pitcher for Cherryville. And they peeled to first base. And Both teams are going to check them all tonight, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> he did not go around. It says first base umpire Brian Turner. Yeah, it looks like both teams are going to do a lot of checking of the swings tonight. It's, this feels like a championship series already. Ground mm -hmm. ball to third. Third baseman will throw across the diamond. And time will go 5-3 put out on Shoemaker. Four out number three. So Cherville leaves a couple of runners aboard. No runs on a hit, no errors, and two left. We've played an inning zero to zero on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard, and you're listening to Post 100 Baseball. What are some of the greatest models? Bruce isn't sure why he's out here, but this happens every time Aunt Betty and her allergies come to town, doesn't it, Bruce? But now, Train can help downtrodden animals like Bruce. A Train Clean Effect system removes up to 99.98% of the allergens from all the air that it heats or cools, so your owners will never choose Aunt Betty over you again. Let's go find your family a train dealer. Your Train Comfort Specialist is Roland Black Heated and Cooling. Call 704-865-1375. Roland Black Heated and Cooling. It's hard to stop a train. Trailers for everything, and we mean it, at TRT Trailer Sales in Lincoln, 3302 Gastonia Highway. Trailers for hauling livestock, motorcycles, and cars. You'll find dump trailers, utility, and landscaping trailers. You'll find racing trailers with finished interiors, plus the tag-along and gooseneck trailers, insulated trailers with tack compartments and 110 packages. Call toll-free at 1-877-279-7465 or visit the website TRTTrailerSales.com 
A lot of people are switching to natural gas lately because natural gas appliances cost a lot less to operate than those using propane or electricity. In fact, a typical family could save up to $1,000 a year just by switching from propane to natural gas. But that's not all. To learn more about natural gas and to find out how much money you could save by switching, visit psncenergy.com slash choose gas. That's psncenergy.com slash choose gas. Natural gas from PSNC Energy, making everyday life better. Porch, a garage, a gold. Back to the uh Game here at Fraley Field, top of the second, leadoff single on the first pitch by left-handed hitter Matt Simmons. And that'll put uh, Man Hill's first base runner on. And the pitch to Dalton Eisenbach is a strike. 0 1 on Eisenbach. He's a right handed batter. And the pitch fouled right back at us. Yes, it did. You know, uh, you right remember Clint in the face. You remember those things that used to come in the Sunday? paper in the comics. I don't know if they still do that or not. You'd stare at them and then you would see oh, yeah, the yeah, picture. Yeah. If you stare at those jerseys long enough, you, you, see, see? you see the number. Oh, I thought you were going to say you see the jersey. <laughs> no, you, see, you see the number as your eyes focus on something. Uh, oh, and two pitches a ball from Heath King. So one on, nobody out for Mint Hill. Top of the second. Scoreless tie. Sparky Owls drug TRT Trader Cell scoreboard. Game two of the series. Cherva leads one game to none. That's three out of five series. And most of the umbrellas have been put away now. Good. One, two, and steady. Close to play. first. They got, got him. him. They did. Kind of a collision over there with uh, when it's High. standing up, Milton. Yeah. High and Simmons collide, but they pick off Simmons. I'm very surprised he went in there standing up as close as it was going to be, and he was out. So, one, three, pick off. Of Matt Simmons, one down, nobody on, and one two pitch here to Eisenbach is swung on and missed. How about that? Just about like a double play, isn't it? Yeah. One, one pitch separated it from a double play. Hey, throw him out, then a strike him That's out. That's right. <laughs> and quickly two down, then it brings up Chase Shuford, the uh, second baseman, right handed batter for TFW post 40 59. Pitch from King, lifted to right center. It's going to be oh, it's going to get diving, out. diving try by Cody Dellinger, who's getting up slowly. It's off the tip of his glove, down to third base goes the batter. Chase give him Schufer. a triple, Milton. I mean, the right fielder gave an effort to get all he could do to get to it, but that just is hope, a triple for Schubert. Cody's okay. And now, how big's the pickoff? The center fielder had to reverse. Uh, direction and go get that ball back toward the center field area after it glanced off of Dellinger's glove as he almost had that mm -hmm. thing. He went out, laid out for it, lateral for it, and that would have been a huge, another huge play by Dellinger. He's already had a couple put outs out there and right. That would have been a major league play. And it's ball one to Rashid, Rashad Webster. Two for four on Wednesday night, a couple of singles. And the pitch, swung on a missed. Had him off balance that time, Milton. Good breaking pitch off speed there from Heath King and Webster way out of balance. One ball, one strike, two out, runner at third from Mint Hill. And the pitch, swung on a missed. One and two. And with that runner being picked off for first a while ago. Yeah. If, how big is that? Uh, be behind. Pick up. Right. Be behind already. All right. Here's the one two pitch to Webster. And it is called strike three on Big the corner. Strikeout. Big strikeout. Webster called looking, and that'll take care of Mint Hill. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one left. Go to the bottom of the second on the Mr. Sparky House Drug TRT Driver Cell scoreboard, and it is zero to zero still. Shane Calloway invites you. 
Your reasons for a personal loan are as individual as you are. As a community bank, we understand that. We're the bank with a focus on service. So we'll help you design a loan plan that fits your needs and your budget. Talk to us about your personal reasons for a personal loan. First National Bank, hometown banking since 1874. Member FDIC. Just like you love Cherryville sports, Cherryville has a hometown skilled nursing facility that loves their work too. Peak Resources Cherryville, where caring comes to life. For a tour of Peak Resources Cherryville, call us at 704-435-6029 or just stop by. Located off Delview Road at 700 Self Street in Cherryville. And we'd love to meet you. Peak Resources Cherryville, providing exceptional nursing and rehabilitation care at Cherryville. Again, phone 704-435-6029 for Peak Resources Cherryville. Super Tuesday is back at Medical Center Pharmacy on East Academy Street in Cherryville. Cheeseburgers for just 99 cents. And it's time to get your flu shots. And don't forget about the new kids vitamin free program. Pick up a free bottle of children's chewable multivitamins every 30 days. Parent must come in and sign up each child for their 30 day supply at Medical Center Pharmacy, 607 East Academy Street in Cherryville. Alexander pitched on Wednesday night, uh, did a good job in there. And I was trying to see what he did at the plate that night. Had a double and four trips. Foul ball into the dugout of the third base side, the Cherryville dugout, 0-2 to Alexander. That's definitely a John Brown All-State <laughs> foul ball Foul there. ball there, there you go. No Rocky Bennett insurance runs in the game so far. The 0-2 to Alexander, he bears down, fouls it off. Brandon Alexander, he just finished his junior year at Burns High School. Mm-hmm. Some youth on this charitable team. And the 0-2 pitch to Alexander is curveball. That's a line drive to the third baseman. Line shot at third, but uh, right in Simmons' tracks, he made the play. So one up, one down. Bring up Brett Huff. The good news is, Milton, Alexander just finished his junior year. The bad news is he falls into that class that will only get to play one more year. No matter when his birthday is, he won't get to play after his college freshman year. Nobody will, mm. starting in 2015. 15, yep. All right, Brett Huff out of West Lincoln, just graduated from West Lincoln High School. And the pitch is inside ball one to Huff. Huff is uh, in his second year of Legion baseball, senior Legion. Mm -hmm. And the pitch is low, 2-0 and from Shearer. Has played good at shortstop for this team this year. Mm -hmm. Right-handed hitter, Brett Huff, followed by uh, Dalton Towery, both West Lincolners. Is that what you call them, West Lincolners? Sounds good. Both Rebels. Westerners. <laughs> 2-0 pitch. Pretty well Fly hit. ball, yes, to uh, right center. Better hit than I thought. And the right center fielder, rather. Center fielder dropped it, trying to make an over-his-shoulder catch. Well, that's similar Bounced to out. what we saw the other night. Danny yeah. says give him a hit. Give him a double. A double for Brett Huff. That's very similar. Actually, that was a little tougher play than the one we saw on Wednesday night. And, boy, I tell you now, Milton, this is where I think is key for Cherville is when he'll make a mistake, Cherville needs to capitalize. Yep. And that ball fooled me and might have fooled that center fielder a little bit too. I didn't think it was going anywhere that deep. Mm -hmm. I was just going to be a little lazy pop fly out there. And a batter up. Then's Dalton Towery. Our good home run power here for Cherryville. Mm -hmm. Another right-handed hitter. Now, Cherryville not a team that hit a lot of home runs. but Well, nobody does anymore. Not anymore. The Not deadening like of the bats, to. that's yeah. right. They, uh, three home one. runs, Mike. Mike said the leader in area four had three. Oh, three home runs, isn't that something? Hastings kid, Nick, Nick Hastings out of Shelby, had three, and that led the area. How long has it been since that low a number would have led the area? Better ask for time. And, you know, the deadening of the bats, like you say, 
safety precaution, I, I guess, mainly. Mm -hmm. It is. And um, what I wonder is if he led, how many did he hit at Shelby? Because that's the biggest park in the area four. But I was wondering, uh, the, the young man from, uh, was it um, Burke County that got hit? Yeah. In the head? How, Asheville. 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 How is he? Have I heard? Uh, I haven't heard in a while, but I, I think he was recovering pretty well. A one pitch on the outside corner to Huff. Oh and two. There's Gerald Young. How are you, sir? You know not. Oh and two count. He not said there's traffic on eighty five. No, not on it. Friday. <laughs> uh, 0-2 pitch. It gets by the catcher all the way to the yes, backstop and uh, down to third goes Brett Huff. Wild pitch. Wild pitch gets Huff just 90 feet away from the Knights' first Rocky Bennett run. Yeah, we're in the bottom of the second here. No score. And uh, Cherryville with one out and a runner at third. And the count one ball, two strikes on number eight man in the order, Dalton Towery. Right-handed hitter playing left field tonight. And Coach Reynolds wants to talk to his hitter. Dalton Towery, who was injured for a few games Midway through the first uh, round, uh, I think we were doing the game up at uh, Caldwell County. Danny and I, when he got hurt that night, early in that ball game. One-two pitch is right back up the middle, through for That's a base a hit. Solid base hit off the bat of Towery. RBI single, Dalton Towery, and Cherryville leads one nothing on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard. Brett Huff comes in to score the first round of the night, our Rocky Bennett run, as it's now one to nothing. You know, all the balls have been hit hard this inning because Alexander's was hit well. He, he just hit a line drive to the third baseman. Throw to first. Towery back in head first. One out and a run in and uh, one on for Cherryville down at first base. Don Towery and the batter is Hunter Jackson. The catcher. Number nine man in order. Curve ball inside corner. Strike one. This umpire does not give up on the curve. That's a good thing for both pitchers. Looked like it was coming way inside. And the next pitch, a fastball low. One ball, one strike on Hunter Jackson, the catcher, right-handed hitter. Hunter with some pop in that bat. Was he at home or on the road when he hit that home run? Right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Hit the home run in the first round series. One out in the ninth. I do believe. I can look that up and make sure. But I think there was one out in the ninth inning and Cherville trailing by I, two. I know it was the ninth. Yeah, his home run tied the game. One ball, two strikes now on Jackson. So he's been a steady player all year, hitting and fielding. That was back on the sixth. What day would that have been? Last. Okay. Here's a little blooper pop-up to the yeah. shortstop. Off his fist there, Milton. Mm -hmm. Not much you could the, do with it. The 6th of July. Mm -hmm. That would have been Saturday. Okay. Two out on the pop-up and brings us to the top of the order. Cody Dellinger. Dellinger, a leadoff single in the bottom of the first. The left-hander de hitter Dellinger steps back in. One for one on the night. A run in here. Bottom of the uh, second. one nothing Cherryville and Towery at first base. Two mm -hmm. down now. Milton on that night, uh, Huntersville had scored three in the eighth to take the lead, five to three. And then uh, with Alexander aboard, uh, Hunter Jackson hit his two-run homer with one out to tie it up, and Cherub went on to win in the tenth. Sure did, pitch in the dirt, ball one to Dellinger. Dellinger, glad to see he got up from that yes. diving attempt out yes. there in right center. Well, that's the thing about him, he's going to play hard. So, you play, I mean extremely hard when, he, when you play that way. You always have that risk, extra and risk of injury. It swung on a miss. When he lay there for an extra second or two, you know, you just think, oh, my goodness. You don't want to lose anybody at this point in the You're season. Right. One and one on Dellinger. Two out. Tower at first, whichever throw over there. Safe. The thing about Shear, he does he throws hard and everything and does mm -hmm. a good curve, but he doesn't look like he overexerts no, himself at anything. Does. Yeah. I don't think he's an overpowering pitcher either. It must just be his you know, if you got three good pitches, you can be a very effective pitcher and he's probably got all three. 
That was or, a good or three uh, anyway. Good breaking ball that twelve to six come in there high and just dropped right in. Mm -hmm. One to one and two on Cody Dallinger now. They've got to be ready here for Cherryville. And the runner going, the pitch is outside, throw to second. Uh oh. Yeah, they He's got out him. a second. Two to six on the pick uh put out of uh Towery, and that'll be out number three. Dellinger left in the batter's box. He'll come to bat in the third. So we've completed two innings, and Cherryville's taking the lead one nothing on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Treader Cell scoreboard. Cherryville Self Storage is your Do you need to organize? Maybe you need to create more space. But what do you do? Call Alcom Mini Storage on Dick Bream Road in Cherryville. Alcom Mini Storage has all sizes of mini storage bins, priced from $35 to $85. And now mention this radio ad, and when you pay for three months, you'll get an additional month free. Just mention this radio ad for your free month. Alcom Mini Storage, 235 Dick Bream Road in Cherryville, 704-435-8803. All units are lighted with security cameras and monthly extermination. Check our prices, Outcom Mini Storage. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Billy Rowland in Lincoln can help you get to a better state. Because Billy and her agents will talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Billy Rowland in Lincoln and officially get to a better state with State Farm. All right. Crickets. <laughs> the crickets. Uh, we, go to the, we go to the Billy Rowland State Farm Insurance third inning here at uh, Friday Field and Cherryville leading one nothing. A Rocky Bennett run in the uh, bottom of the second on the RBI single by Towery, scoring uh, Huff first run of the game. So here we go in the third, leading off for Mint Hill be Bancroft, Nathan Bancroft, followed by Will Griffin. Then the top of the order, David Marvin. Pitch from King, ground ball. Could be trouble in the hole yeah, it's it short. Is. Not Huff, hold that yeah, one. Huff's just going to put it in his pocket. Infield single to start things here in the third for Mint Hill. That's Bancroft reaching on Mint Hill's third hit of the night. And bring up Will Griffin, the number nine batter, the shortstop right-handed batter. Hits now even, three apiece. And we've got Coach Reynolds coming out to the mound and uh, ask his entire infield to meet him there. So we'll take this quick 30-second timeout. When the septic tank backs up. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Now open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Try their all-you-can-eat pancake special. All you can eat for only $3.99 every day. And don't forget about the big Sunday lunch specials. Every day is a great day to eat at Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Call 704-276-1155 for all of your catering needs, too. I'm broken up there by home plate umpire Terrence Jones as uh, we're back here to the top of the Billy Rowland State Farm entrance third inning. One on, nobody out from Mint Hill and the Number nine batter, Will Griffin, up. King's pitch, and the throw to first. Oh, it's going to be close. Boy, I tell you, man, yeah, it was just it was, on the wrong side a little bit there. Yep. Almost pick off there, King, uh, excuse me, Jackson to uh, to uh, high. I think the, the fact that Cameron High slipped a little bit played more into it than anything. And it's one ball and no strikes on Griffin. Will Griffin, right-handed batter for Men Hill. Throw to first. Back in is Bancroft. And thanks to our camera crew tonight on ktcbroadcasting.com. Josh Collins out there on the Henry Dome. Clint Spencer here in the press box. Bun attempt foul wow. off. Well, he didn't get that thing anywhere near he wanted to get it. <laughs> no, he didn't. One ball, one strike on Griffin. Griffin. Uh, let's see what we can find out about this. Young man. 
He is from, he has just finished his junior year at Charlotte Christian High School. His first year of uh, senior Legion ball. Right. And the throw to first, runner safe. One by one strike count on Griffin. One one pitch. What was wrong with that one? That's a good question. That's pretty good pitch. As the batter showed bunt, he didn't even pull the bat back. And the pitch looked like it was right down the middle. Anyway, it's two and one on Griffin. He left the, bunt, he left the bat sticking out there, and the ball was right over the plate. And it's still a ball. One, yeah. two, one pitch now. Yeah, that was a big cross-up. Cameron Howe wasn't on the bag on the pickoff move. Now we got an error on a throw to first. And the runner goes down to second, Bancroft with nobody out. Fortunate, Milton, that he can get all the way to third on that one. Does you have to give that E1? Yeah, throw an error because uh, so they got their signals crossed because Cameron Hyde already come off to charge the bunt. He was already headed, you know, off the bag and toward the plate when King threw the ball to first base. So. And it's two and one still on Will Griffin. The pitch shows bunt. And umpire again doesn't call. And the base umpire says he struck at it because he didn't pull the bat back again. <laughs> For a second time, he just left the bat out there. That time, the yep. pitch was a ball. Yep. But he just missed probably, it. Well, and that's probably a tough, tough call on a home plate umpire, especially an inexperienced one. I don't know how much experience he has. Bouncer over the pitcher's head. His glove might have touched it, but it'll be an infield single yep. for Griffin. As it, all, all shortstop Huff could do is pick it up in front of second base. Mm -hmm. No play at all they could make. I thought Coach Reynolds might go out and question the fact that the base runner going back to the bag kind of got in the way of mm -hmm. Huff, but really he's he's allowed that territory. So, so the 2-2 pitch is a infield single for Griffin and now meant heel threatening here in the top of the Billy Rowland State Farm insurance third inning with the top of the order David Marvin up. Marvin to fly out to right field his first time up, right-handed batter. Still nobody out. He shows bunt, pulls it back, and it's called a strike. It's 0-1 uh, is the correct count. Marvin, the center fielder, and the pitch is a ball, one ball, one strike. Tough, tough, tough jam right here. First two guys aboard. We'll see mm -hmm. if Heath King can weather the storm, so to no, speak. <laughs> nobody out. Two on top of the order up. Here's the pitch. Strike called. One and two pitch. count now on Marvin. Good looking pitch there from King. Down at second is Bancroft. Griffin at first. Two hits and an error in the inning. Nobody out. And the pitch. No call. Yeah, just must have just missed low. 2-2 two -two on Marvin. And now the crowd and Heath King getting a little bit uh, riled at this umpire. The charitable crowd, I should say. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Ben Hill's okay with it. 2-2 two -two pitch. Curveball, rip, base hit, left field. Yes, it was hit hard. Uh, that'll tie the ball game. And still nobody out, an RBI single for Marvin. It's one-to-one -one on the Mr. Barkey Hauser Drug scoreboard. Well, I've said all along, team, uh, Milton, that this team can really hit the baseball, and they're showing it already here in the early going tonight, already up to five hits. And we're just in inning number three with nobody out. Yep, and a 1-1 one -one ball game, and, and it brings up Zach Blaylock, the catcher, who bats second in the order. Blaylock a 1-3 ground out in the first inning. And the pitch from King bunted, popped up, but it's oh going to be trouble. King's got it. Throw to first. Not in time. Nope. Another single. Four Bunt. straight. Bunt single for Blaylock. Bases loaded. Nobody out for Logan Shearer, the pitcher. That caught everybody off guard. Milton, that moves Griffin to third, Marvin to second, and Blaylock with the bunt single at first base, loaded with nobody down. Yeah, he, he bunt single. He popped it up, but... It, 
Cheryl just wasn't ready just for the bunt. Yeah, yeah, wasn't high enough, and nobody could get to it. And it hit out there about halfway down the third base line, and it just died in the grass. And nothing you could do. Didn't roll to anybody. And, and pitch fouled off by Shear. It may be the best hitter on the team up there right now, Milton, with the bases loaded, nobody out. Yeah, we're tied up one to one, top of the third. Mid Hill bases loaded, no outs, and their number three batter up, Logan Shear. Shear flied out to right field in the first inning. And the pitch. There's a fly ball right center. Going, going, and gone. Grand slam. Grand slam home run. Logan Shearer has broken this thing wide open in favor of Mint Hill in the third inning here. The Billy Rowland State Farm Insurance third inning. A Showing why he was a UNC Charlotte recruit. Four ribbies there on the home run. The grand slam. And it's five to one, Mint Hill in the top of the third. All five runs coming here on five straight hits, Milton. Still nobody out in the inning. Right. Nobody out. And the batter is Matt Simmons, who singled leading off the second. Five one Mint Hill in the Billy Rowland State Farm Insurance third inning. And Simmons, left handed batter, third baseman, steps up. Against Heath King here. And the pitch. There's a wow. right first base side. What a play. High knocks it down with the glove and picks it up bare hand and races to the bag. Three unassisted on Simmons. Milton, it's been a long time since Mint Hill did not hit a ball hard. Mm -hmm. Other than the bun a minute ago. That one was that hit one, hard. And oh, that was a rocket. Just a good play by High to get, to get a glove on it. He misses that one. A double. Can, it's a double. Yeah, <laughs> at least. It's, a, it's not an error for sure. Uh, Dalton Eisenbach is the batter up. He struck out swinging in the second. And he wow. rips a base hit to left field here in the third. This team's really tattooing the baseball right now. I don't know how much longer Coach Reynolds will stay yeah. with Heath King. Yeah, King is not fooling him right now. Mm -mm. King having trouble. He got through the first couple innings pretty, uh, pretty well okay. Uh, he got a couple hits off of him in the second inning, but they picked one of those base runners off. And he's able to get a couple strikeouts that inning. This inning, only one out, and five runs have scored. 5-1 Mint Hill. Ground ball, slow, too slow for two, maybe too slow for one. Throw to first, got him. He made Cameron High work at first by Naren, but Naren had to do everything he could, Milton, to rush it and get it over there quickly. And Cameron High able to dig it out for the – for the uh, second out of the inning. Eisenbach down to second, brings up the ninth batter of the inning. That is Rashad Webster. Milton, they go to the second inning in Shelby. It's 3 nothing Shelby over Asheville. Bottom of the second inning, I should say. As Asheville strands them, leaves the bases loaded in the second. All right, Webster, who struck out looking in the second inning here, is batter up here with two out and a runner at second for Men Hill. And the pitch from King, strike on the outside corner, right where Jackson had set up. He hit the target. 0-1 oh, to count on Webster. Need to get out of this without any more damage. And leave Pick off play at second, and yep. the runner back in. Second baseman Naren going over to cover the bag. Looked like they were ready for it. Mm -hmm. 0-1 oh, to count on Webster. And the pitch, strike called. Yeah, breaking pitch on the outside corner. That's a good pitch by King. He needs to find that spot again. 0-2 count. Terrible one strike from getting out of the inning, but major damage done. And the pitch, ground ball to second. Naren's got it. Throw to first in time, but the damage indeed done. They bat around, Milton. Yep, nine up and five runs in inning. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six hits. One charitable error and one runner left on, including that grand slam by Shearer in the inning. So we've uh, completed the top of the Billy Rowland State Farm third inning, and it's 5-1 Men Hill now. When 
The old saying you can't keep a good man down now applies to Brookwood Cafe and Catering. The new Brookwood Cafe and Catering is located on Providence Mill Road in Maiden, featuring the same great food and service you remember. The world's greatest fried chicken and world-famous penny browns once again satisfy your appetite. Brookwood Cafe and Catering is serving the same great breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Brookwood Cafe and Catering on Providence Mill Road in Maiden. Stop by before the game or call ahead for your tailgate items, 828-428-8944. Carolina Heating and Cooling in Cherryville has been in business for over 90 years with over four generations of contractor experience. Carolina Heating and Cooling specializes in sales, service, and installation of heating and cooling products. They offer annual maintenance agreements and service all brands of equipment. Carolina Heating and Cooling, 1313 West Church Street in Cherryville in the old Ford Motor Company building. Owned and operated by Keith and Brian Long, call 704-435-4433. Well, Milton, hopefully that Billy Rowland third inning will be as kind to charitable yes, as uh, it was to Matt Hill. Cody Dellinger, who was batting in the second inning when Dalton Tower was thrown out trying to steal. Dellinger will lead off the third here. One for one on the night, a base hit in the first inning for Cody. Left-handed hitter and pitch from Shear is outside, ball one. Five runs on six hits for Matt Hill in the top of the Billy Rowland third inning. Folks, if you haven't come out to the ballpark, and uh, obviously tonight's the only night you've been here, Mint Hill, but you need to see this team play. Uh, one, one of these teams, a good team, is going to advance. I can tell you that already. Mm -hmm. Cherville, winner of six straight Area 4 titles, trying to make it seven. And Mint Hill, who had the best record in Area 4 this year, uh, trying to show why. And it counts 2-0 and on Dallinger from Shear. And that's low. 3-0 and to Dallinger. Much different at bat for Cody here. He 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 was in he was in a tough spot in that at bat in the second inning, and even though Towers thrown out trying to steal second, it puts a good mm -hmm. hitter another chance because he just he just looked out of sync in that at bat in the second right. inning, Cody Dellinger. So let's see if he can get on one way or the other here. Three zero count. Shearer yeah, just trying to throw a strike here. And he cannot. He bounces it in there. Ball four. Good start. So Hopefully. Shearer, who may have got tired running around the yeah, bases. Well, he jogged, on, yeah, he jogged <laughs> on that grand slam. And he hit it, didn't he? In the top of the third. They're already going to the fifth inning down at South Point. Gaston Brave still lead Hickory 1-0. All right, here's uh, Caleb Naren. Naren a sacrifice bunt. First time up. He takes this one ball low. One ball and no strikes. They've completed three innings now at East Lincoln. Lincoln County leads Caldwell County two to nothing. 1-0 pitch from Shear. And there's a base hit between first and second. Sharply hit. Very well hit ball by Caleb Naren. Good start here for post 100, trying to answer the big five-run third inning by Mint Hill. And Josh Beam be the batter. Beam struck out swinging on three pitches in the... Uh, first inning so now to get it back for Josh let's see if he can come through here the left-handed hitter back to back to back lefties for Cherryville in the one two three order here in the inning Dallinger at second Naren at first bunt by beam is fouled off Bottom of the Billy Rowland State Farm Insurance third inning, 5-1 Mint Hill, game two of the second round area four playoffs. Cherville leads the series one game to none. Winners Wednesday night at Mint Hill Independence High School lot rained out here last night. A one pitch, bunted foul again by Beam. Yes, it is. There again, as we I mentioned earlier, the lost start of bunting. Yeah. Beam a graduate this year of Burns High School. Going to go to Tuscolum. Jacob Hoover, both RBIs for Lincoln County tonight in that Caldwell game. Right, here's the 0-2 from Shear, and Beam fouled it off. Had a good cut and an 0-2 pitch, but comes up empty or at least fouls it off, Stays, keeps his at-bat alive. Cameron High on deck for Cherryville, post 100. 
Don't have to get them all now, Milton, but it would be nice to put a den in it and get at least one across here after a, two runners aboard here, nobody out. Yep, definitely so. 0 2 again to Beam. Sure looks to second. Now the pitch, and he swings and misses. Um, trying to out. chase one outside that time. One down. And bring up Cameron High. High walked in the first. Trevor left two on in the first inning. They had runners at uh, first and second with two down on the, and High walked with two out and the ground out ended the inning. Coach Reynolds was a little disappointed with beaming at it bat. He wanted that bunt down to get those runners advanced. Take that force away as well. Pitch from Shear is low. Ball one to Cameron High. Lights on here at the ballpark. A little breeze out there blowing the flags from right to left. Field. 1-0 from Shear. The pitch. Swung on and missed. 1-1 one, one on Cameron High. You know, Cameron High a couple nights ago down there at Independence had a uh, pretty good night at the plate. Had an RBI double in the first, an RBI single to give uh, Cherryville an insurance run in the ninth. 1-1 one, one count here, one out, two on for Cherryville. Could use one here. And the pitch. Fouled off right side. Going to hit the bus maybe. Nope, just missed the Mint Hill bus down there. One and two. That first inning double you had, Milton, was down the right field line down there at Independence High. Taking it the opposite way. Foul ball brought to you by John Brown Allstate Insurance. One, two, the count out of high. And the pitch from Shear. He got him to chase one outside. Strike three. I don't know what he liked about that pitch. Uh, I don't either. But, uh, you know, all of a sudden, Cherville's bats have been silenced by Shearer after the first two runners aboard. He has got back-to-back -back Ks here and now trying to work himself out of the jam. He has struck out three on the night. And the batter up is Shoemaker, ground out to end the first inning. So two out, runners first and second. Let's see if Shoemaker can get a hold of one here. And he, he will base hit to right field. They will send the runner home. Here comes the throw, and it is not in time. And Cherubal plates a Rocky Bennett run here in the third inning. It's now 5-2 to two on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Trotter Sales scoreboard. RBI single for Tyler Shoemaker. Yeah, give uh, Shoemaker a big pat on the back there coming up there in a clutch situation. Tough after the past two guys have struck out and all the pressure's on you if you're going to get a run, and he drives one in. Five to two, our score, and Brandon Alexander, who lined out hard to the third baseman his first time up, leading off the second inning. Brandon bats here with two out, and runners at first and second here in the Billy Rowland State Farm third inning. Got a baseball out on the field in the from the bullpen down there. Better save it, might need it in a minute. Yeah. Here's Alexander's first pitch, and it's in the dirt, blocked up by Blaylock. Imagine if you announced their games all year, you'd have a block by Blaylock. <laughs> block by Blaylock. I can't say that. You did? Block by Blaylock. 1-0 count. Pitch is swung on a missed. Alexander again with a good cut too. Milton, but just comes up empty there. Runner down at second and there and got a pretty good lead, and he's got pretty good wheels, a base hit. Good cut this lead down to two. 1-1 one, one count. And the pitch. Popped him up, going to get out of play behind the press box, I believe, here. Being the bleachers or over us? John over Brown us, yeah. insurance foul ball. 1-2 and two on Alexander. Yeah. David, long ball here. We're tied. If you can well, get that you got one. a point there. And Brandon's got some home run power. Mm -hmm. 
be nice to see it right here. You know, like I said though earlier, you don't have to get them all back. But I tell you what, got to stop the other team well, at some point yeah, tonight. You're right. You're right. And I'm glad to see them get at least one out of this. The pitch, strike three wow. called. Incredible call there. Strikes out the side in the process of yes, uh, one run on two hits. No errors. Two big runners left on again. For post 100, we go. That ends the Billy Rowland State Farm Insurance third inning. And we go uh, to the fourth. The score 5 2. Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard. Golf carts are the specialty at RM Motors in Cherryville. No matter where you live, it's well worth the drive to RM Motors in Cherryville for your custom made golf carts. Prices start at only $18.50. And all cards come with a 30-day warranty. Come see the selection today. They're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. Saturdays, 8.30 till 2. And be sure to check out r and Pond and Trade and r and Motor Tire and Automotive Care, all located on the dallas Cherryville Highway, one mile outside of Cherryville. Call 704-445-0103. The 2013 Dodge event is underway at Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Lincoln. Coming now for some great deals on the new 013 Dodge models, including the new 2013 Dodge Dart starting at $15,995, or at least a new 2013 Dodge Dart for $149 per month for 24 months. Or how about the new 2013 Dodge Charger starting at $25,995, or at least it for only $269 per month. See Abernathy for all the details. Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge, 1442 East Main Street in Lincoln. While helping to keep your higher mind. All right, we go to the fourth inning here, and batter up for Mint Hill is Nathan uh, Bancroft. Yeah, Bancroft. he started that last inning. Yes, he did. He started with a base hit and later came in to score the tying run at that point. It was one to one. It's five to two now here as we in the top of the fourth. The count one ball, one strike on Bancroft. Griffin and Marvin due to follow the eight, nine, and one spots. A pitch fouled off. One and two on the left fielder Nathan Bancroft, right-handed batter for Men Hill. I want you to look at this. You don't see this very often. My laptop, Mike Powell's laptop, are identical. Same everything. They're twins. Yep. One-two pitch <laughs> popped up out of play. <laughs> Another John Brown thought I was seeing double. double. Yeah. Thought I was seeing yeah. double for a minute. <laughs> I, I, I see double a lot. <laughs> One, two, the count. I wouldn't tell that. <laughs> I, just, I just need. I want you to see a double play. Yeah. Course, I don't want them to get anybody on. So. Can't do a double play right That's now. Right. But, uh, yeah. Sure, we can benefit tonight from a lot of that sort of thing. Strike three call. Yeah, it is. The umpire is going to hurt himself yes, tonight. Yes, <laughs> And if anybody walks up behind him, they're going to get knocked yeah. out. Uh, strike three He's called on Bancroft. A great, great, uh, very uh, demonstrative strike call, strike three call. <laughs> I think he I like uh, it. I like the fact he's into the game. He, you know? He's no doubt about it. Yep. No doubt about it. He wouldn't do that on ball three, would he? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a strike there on Griffin. We heard y'all say the other night, who was umpiring, you had to wait like a 1,002, we Well, he would call it verbally instantly, but we couldn't tell that. And yep. then he would, do about three seconds later, come with the arm signal. Next pitch, a ball, one ball, one strike on Will Griffin. Griffin singled and scored. And Milton, while this guy is so demonstrative, that guy was like <laughs> just real slow and calm about it. Everybody a little different. I mm -hmm. guess. Foul ball on the bun attempt by Griffin. One and two now. Griffin uh, had that uh, infield single in the hole at shortstop his first time up back in the third inning. So he bats... The second inning in a row, batting second in the inning for the second inning in a row. <laughs> they sent nine up in the uh, third, Men Hill, and scored five runs, including four on the grand slam by the pitcher Shear, and the count goes two and two on Griffin. It's a five to two ball game now, and it's strike three. 
Back-to-back -back strikeouts now for Heath King. And even after the five-run inning, the Grand Slam being the big one, he has actually retired the last four now that he's faced. Yes, he has. He's had to get had to get back in his rhythm. That brings up David Marvin. Marvin, uh, RBI single and a run scored in the Billy Rowland third inning. So he's one for two on the night. Marvin in that leadoff spot. The Ben Hill center fielder, right-handed batter. It's ball one from King. The pitch outside. 2-0. and oh. To a count on David Marvin, and the pitch strike. Yes, it was. Jackson set out, set up out on the outside corner a little bit there, and had to reach back, but it was right across the middle of the plate. That's not where they actually wanted to put that pitch. Huh. <laughs> I got away with one. Yep. Two one pitch here, lifted to right or going to be right fielder shallow Dellinger right. there. Yes, shallow, very shallow there. For the fly, and Dellinger makes the put out, and Mint Hill goes three up, three down in the fourth. Why couldn't they have done that in the third? Yes. <laughs> Been nice. <laughs> We've played three and a half innings on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard and TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard. Remains five to two, Mint Hill over Cherryville. Pennzoil is. You care about the future of this community. You grew up here. You've raised a family here. Your life is here. So is ours. Carolina Trust Bank. Member FDIC. Community minded. Just like you. Got a building project in the near future? Then see Don or Tracy Lyles at College Building Supplies in Dallas, right across from Gaston College. You'll find material for treated decks, storage buildings, and even galvanized metal. Save two on roof cement and cement blocks. College Building Supply in Dallas has vinyl windows in all sizes as low as $69. Get quotes from kitchen cabinets, shingles, exterior siding, and even dog houses. College Building Supplies, Highway 321 in Dallas, across from Gaston College. Open Monday through Saturday. When the septic tank backs up, Dennis Willis Septic Service in Cherryville is the name to remember. Dennis Willis services, repairs, and installs all types of septic tanks. They have pump-out tanks, too. Call Dennis Willis for septic tank service at 704-435-2326. Again, that's 704-435-2326 for professional, fair, and honest work from a name you've trusted for years. Dennis Willis Septic Tank Service of Cherryville. Again, that's 704-435-2326. Two, six. Batters Huff, Brett Huff. Actually, Duff. I said the opposite, Milton. I'm sorry. I, I said it's going to rain. Just yeah, look. You did. Didn't I'm so used to seeing the rain. How can you? How can you uh, vote against it? That's right. Huff doubled and scored in the second inning to put Cherville in front temporarily. Here's a bouncer to the shortstop and a throw in time. Six three put out on Huff. Yeah, good. Good to. Routine play out there at short, but uh, he's got a good arm. That's Will Griffin, the shortstop. Very solid. And Dalton Towery, an RBI single in the second that scored Huff on the play. Griffin out of Charlotte Christian High School. So Cherryville going to try to chip away at this men hill lead that was 5-1. to one. It's five to two now. Cherville a run in the second and a run in the third. All five of Men Hill's runs coming in the top of the third, and they went in order in the top of the fourth. Well, we've seen that Sharer on the mound is definitely not unhittable. I mean, he's hittable if you're patient up there. You take some time. He hasn't. Uh, I, I mean, he will walk a batter. He's walked two, and Cherville's got four hits. Mm -hmm. You made the key earlier. Got to stop them. That's right, and uh, he did a good job in the fourth. Mm -hmm. Two and zero goes to count on Towery. One out, nobody on for Cherville. Bottom of the fourth here. Cherville left a couple runners on in the um, third inning. Had the tying run at, even at, at the plate. You know, and uh, right. 
That was Alexander representing the tying run in that nice. inning. 3 and 0 quickly on Towery now. Just couldn't get any more. The pitch. Strike. Yes, it was. 3 and 1 to Dalton Towery. I handed here left fielder for Cherryville. Towery's hit in the second inning was up the middle through the legs of the pitcher. And the pitch, 3 1, is ball four. So a one out walk, Dalton Towery on for the second time tonight as he heads down to first base. Runner aboard, one out for the catcher, Hunter Jackson. All right, Hunter. Hunter had a pop up his first at bat. Long way to go here tonight, and uh, keep in mind our post game show, we have some awards. The um, Cheryl Printables post game show, we've got a few awards we'll tell you about in a moment. Pitch is a ball. We've got the defensive player of the game. Brought to you by First Baptist Church and the Creek Coffee House. The offensive player of the game by Medical Center Pharmacy. And the overall player of the game by Peak Resources, Cherryville. One of pitch is high throw to first. Towery back in. 2 0 on Jackson. Both these catchers like to throw down to first base, try to catch that runner napping. Tower gets his lead, and here comes the coach out of the dugout for Men Hill. We'll take a quick 30 second. All right, we'll be right back. Hauser Drugstore on the corner in downtown Cherryville has been Cherryville's hometown pharmacy since 1935, and they know you by name. For durable medical equipment such as wheelchairs, oxygen, walkers, CPAPs and BiPAPs, lift chairs, and diabetic supplies too, like strips and lancets, Hauser Drug builds Medicare and most all private insurances. And does your pharmacy make home deliveries? Hauser Drug in Cherryville does. It's service after the sale. Good luck, Post 100 from Hauser Drug. All right, getting on the mound is over. And it's 2-0 on Hunter Jackson with runner at first and one out here. Shovel down by three in the bottom of the fourth on their home field here. Need to try and get Towery around here. Pitch from Shear popped up. Straight up. Another one for the shortstop off the bat of Jackson. Griffin and making the play. Makes the play, and there's two down. Milton, uh, update, uh, score the same in Shelby. 3 nothing Shelby leads. They're trying to close out that series tonight. They had went at 3-0 with a sweep, and they lead now 3 nothing going to the fifth inning. Okay. They're in the other bracket. The only way Shelby yep. and Cherville would meet. Both be in the state tournament. And both, and both be, be they could meet for the Area 4 finals, but then they would qualify for the tournament. Which means two traditional powers, Caldwell and Shelby, would have to meet for a right to go to the state tournament. Mm -hmm. Cheryl got her hands full with the men healed yes, tonight here. Ball one on Cody Dellinger, who's one for one with a walk tonight. And the pitch called a strike. Mm. Good looking breaking ball. Milton, the sun's almost out here. It's uh, 10 after 8, and the sun's just about to peek through here before it sets. Had just a, here's the 1 1 pitch. Up the mm. middle, base hit Dellinger. Sure, almost snared that one. Cody Dellinger is hot as a firecracker. Yes, Two hits is. and a walk tonight. And that will be a firecracker on the 4th of July? <laughs> yes. A <laughs> um, little bit of rain as the game began tonight, but uh, now a little bit of sunshine. Yeah, and we're not going to rule the rain out. I mean, we've still got a lot of cloud cover, but mm -hmm. the, the break in the clouds is way over to our west or, or northwest, and that's where we're seeing the sun. Folks. So you can see it shining on the gym and the scoreboard. And the batter is Caleb Naren with – Runners first and second, two out here. Aaron, left-handed hitter, he's one for one with a sacrifice bunt also tonight. Been leaving too many runners on base, Milton, four already, and here's an opportunity to leave two more. They need to get them in, at least one. The curveball's called a strike. 0-1 on Naren, left-handed hitter for Cherryville, second baseman. Towery at second and Dellinger at first. The pitch fouled off. John Brown, all state foul ball into the parking lot. Yeah, I heard that on the radio. Milton and Danny got an update from East Lincoln. Lincoln County in the bottom of the fourth. Two more. They lead Caldwell four to nothing. All right. 
Mm-hmm. They got rained out last night, didn't they? They did. They mm-hmm. called that one yesterday morning about 11 o'clock. That was mm-hmm. how how wet it was down there. 0-2 here on Naren. Be ready in the pitch from Shearer. Fouled off. They better have a good one. Cherryville down by three. Naren represents the tying run here. Left-hander. Bit of sunshine across the uh, field. Yeah, I here. bet the right fielder's thinking, "What is that yeah. shining in my eyes?" I hadn't seen it in a month. Didn't think I'd have to worry about it again. O2 pitch, swing and a miss. Drop strike three. He'll throw to first to complete the strikeout, and it'll go two to leave three. Leave again, Milton. Cherryville does leave two on in the inning. No runs on one hit. No errors and two left aboard. We've played four. It's 5 2, Men Hill on the Mr. Sparky House Drug TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard. Cherryville. You wouldn't want your favorite sports team to only play offense or only play defense. So when it comes to insurance, why settle for someone that can handle only your auto policy? Bring your home and auto insurance to all state now and you can say big on both. You deserve someone that can assist you more. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? Hey, sports fans, call Allstate agent John Brown at 704-435-1920 today. Carolina Care Center strives to provide quality care and promote an excellent quality of life. They now offer Carolina Care Cottages. All Carolina Care services are now available to cottage residents on an outpatient basis. Cottage residents have priority to beds if need at Carolina Care Center. The two-bedroom cottages are fully equipped. Reserve your new home today by calling 704-435-4161. Carolina Care, offering a standard of excellence. Let their family take care of your family today at Carolina Care Center. It's time to jump in. Jump in and cool off with a dip in your backyard pool. To help keep your pool sparkling clean all summer long, see Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. They carry a full line of BioGuard products. Plus, they'll analyze your water to make sure you get the right blend of BioGuard. And keep your yard looking great with a new Huxvarna Zero Turn tractor, push mower, or trimmer. Carolina Hardware and Garden Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. Catcher Zach Blaylock, first pitch is a ball. Did you get a chance to eat your Worthers? Is that what you were doing? I was crunching still my, missed out. I was still crunching my here. Worthers. <laughs> I got down to the, the good part. Provided by Danny Aker. Mr. Danny Aker. Foul ball. John Brown, All-State Insurance foul ball. One ball, one strike on Blaylock. Blaylock grounded out in the first, singled and scored in the third. Five runs scored for Mint Hill in the third, including the grand slam by Shearer, who's the batter on deck. 1-1 one, one pitch from King. Curveball stayed high. 2-1. Two and one. The two, three, and four spots in the order for Mint Hill. Trailing in the series, one game to none. Game three back at their park tomorrow night. Ground ball to third. Alexander's throw in time. Ooh, he got the line in a hurry, didn't he? Yes, he did. Well, Shearer. Can't, he won't hit a grand slam. No, this time. I was going to say it's good to see him coming up with nobody on base. That's exactly what you want. And Matt Simmons on deck. Grand slam homer for Logan Shear. Last time up, made it a five-one game. It's five-two now. The pitch from King. I'd like to say hello outside. to. Uh, Milton to Denny Hoover and his son Lane and let him know that his son Jacob and Lincoln County leads Caldwell 4 to nothing now in the fourth inning. Denny and Lane are up in Cooperstown for a Little League tournament over the weekend. How about that? Okay. Or all the next week, actually, the weekend and next week. 2-0 and oh on Shearer. And the pitch from King. Low 3-0. and oh. Is this an... Unintentional, intentional walk. I think he tried to throw a strike that time. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to try. You got to challenge him when you're, when the bases are clear. Yeah. You don't want to put a runner aboard, especially with just one out. No. Three zero to count, and the pitch from Heath King, curveball. 
That's a good in there. Pitch. Three and one. Three balls, one strike. One out, nobody on. Man Hill, top of the fifth. The pitch. And there's a fly ball to center right at center well, fielder Beam. Sure, hit it hard. It didn't get that much over 10 or 15 feet high, but he hit it right at the center fielder, fortunately. Yes, indeed. So it brings up Matt Simmons with two out and nobody on. Just about halfway through this thing, Milton. One more out. Mm -hmm. Simmons, three unassisted ground out in the third. He hit it hard. He had a base hit in the second inning, Simmons did, so he's one for two on the night. There's ball one from King. For a while, earlier, I didn't know if Mint Hill showed up or not with those camouflage <laughs> uniforms. I'm I not know. sure they were over there. Just half, just some britches walking around. <laughs> Excuse me, trousers. <laughs> Knickers. <laughs> you had all kind of names the other night, didn't yeah. you? I heard Danny called them trousers. He did. That's what? exactly what he called them <laughs> before we started that little uh, – conversation of how many names are there <laughs> dungarees one and one pitch to Simmons popped it up playable for catcher Jackson yep tougher play for him I'm surprised third baseman didn't call him off but Jackson makes it yep and it's three up three down in the fifth for Mint Hill but they continue to lead 5-2 on the Mr. Sparky TRT Trader Sales Hauser Drug Scoreboard Hauser What are some of the greatest moments in sports? For me, I think of the basketball games in my uncle's driveway when I was a kid. He wasn't just my uncle, he was a friend. When he died, his funeral allowed me to share what he meant to me. It was a meaningful funeral for a life worth celebrating. As a member of the National Funeral Directors Association, the staff at Carpenter's Funeral Home understand the importance of creating a meaningful funeral service for a life worth celebrating. For more information, call Carpenter's Funeral Home at 704-435-6711. Carpenter's Funeral Home, excellent in cremation and funeral services. There you go, Ann. Your new account is now open. Just one more little thing. Here's your card. What was that? It's my new bank. Every time I turn around, I get hit with another fee. You need to get an account at Carolina Federal Credit Union. She's right. Tired of getting hit by bank fees? Switch to Carolina Federal Credit Union today. Make those pains go away. Here's your receipt. Shane Calloway invites you to see Cherryville Printables for your sports embroidery, screen printing, and promotional items. Plus, if you're a member of a sports team, the new Cherryville Printables sells uniforms and sporting good apparel, including New Era and Flex Fit hats. Plus, name brand apparel including Nike, Augustus, Holloway, Ashworth, Adidas, Carhartt, and Dry Duck. And they can personalize any item. And be sure to ask about their special fundraising pricing. See their products in Medical Center Pharmacy or call 704-748-3550. That's Shane Calloway and Cherryville Printables. Again, 704-748-3550. We used to practice in a storage unit. What makes a Cherryville Federal Bank mortgage better? My apartment couldn't hold all the equipment. Plus, it wasn't a great way to make friends with the neighbors. I got a raise at my day job, and I was like, maybe I can afford a house. So I go down to see Ed at Cherryville Federal just to see what was out there. He asked all about my job, how much I make, if I have anything saved for a down payment. Then he says I might be a perfect fit for some special home loan programs. It got me pre-qualified, so I knew how much house I could shop for. Now, I'm a homeowner. Me, a homeowner. With a couple of bedrooms, a porch, a garage, a garage band, and a mortgage that fits me. Bankers who listen, mortgages that fit. That's what makes Cherryville Federal Bank better. An equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Shiny day. 
If you want to be treated like family, stop by the drugstore in Lincoln and Bell or Boger City, and you will get just that. The drugstore is locally owned and operated. George and his staff take great pride in giving all their customers fast, efficient, quality customer service. They can help you with any prescription or home health care need you may have. Find them on Facebook or at tdspharmacies.com. The Drugstore would like to welcome you to their family. Walking a strikeout tonight. Terrible down by three runs here in the bottom of the fifth. And the pitch is a strike on high. O one one to count to Cameron High, who bats fourth in the order. Playing first base tonight, right-handed hitter with beam at second base, a single and an error. And the pitch, and it is base hit bat past the diving shortstop. That'll Beam being waved home all the way. He will score stank sliding. <laughs> Didn't need to. <laughs> stank sliding. And a RBI single for high. Big hit by Cameron High. Ball hit sharply out into center field, and Beam with his speed, no trouble scoring to make it a 5-3 contest. Clint, Kev, Kevin asked that you will call him. Okay. Oh, yes, we know that. <laughs> and uh, the uh, banana pudding prepared by Susan Reynolds. I've been handled a note. <laughs> I knew that, and I still. It's it's uh, the banana pudding is tremendous. <laughs> you want me to, let me just have this. It's soon to be gone. Okay, here is uh, Shoemaker RBI single in the third. That made it five to two. It's now five three and curveball to Shoemaker's high. And high down at first. Could be a big inning here for Cherubal Melton. Golf to a good start. A run already across to make it 5-3. Still nobody out. Mm-hmm. And Shoemaker represents the tying run here in the uh, bottom of the fifth. And it's long well to left field. It is home run. Tyler Shoemaker. That? It was a no-doubter. That's and one that, of the first no-doubters, one of the few no-doubters that we've seen, especially in the playoffs. That'll tie the ball game. Two-run dinger for Tyler Shoemaker. He's got three RBIs on the night and two hits and three at-bats. Tyler Shoemaker has tied the ball game in the fifth, 5-5. Five, five. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug, TRT, Treader, Sell Scoreboard. The big blast. How about that? That's what we said. We thought Cherubin might be able to hit get enough hits off of Sherrod that he just did not look dominant as long as they can shut Mint Hill down. And guess what? Heath King's done a good job of that, keeping this game in check, and now Cherubel has tied it here in the fifth. All right, and still nobody out for Brandon Alexander. Brandon, 0 for 2 on the night. He hit a hard line out to the third baseman first time up. And this pitch is a ball from uh, Logan Shearer, who, Looks like he got a little rattled by that uh, home run there. He just did a terrible pitch there. This is hit hard down the line. Base hit, extra bases for Alexander. It rolls into the left corner. And Alexander, a double. How about that? Starting to really hit the ball hard. That's four straight hits. Four straight hits here in the inning for Cherville. Single, single, home run, double. And I don't know how much longer now that Stu Brown and the Mint Hill Staff will stay with, sure. It's going to be Brett Huff here. Brett Huff, a double in the first inning and a run scored. <coughs> a ground out in the uh, fourth for Huff. So he's one for two tonight. Big chance here to put Cherville in front. The runner at second, still nobody out. Huff, the right-handed hitter, waits, and the pitcher steps off. And uh, Huff will step out of the box, now back in. Huff, the right-handed hitting shortstop for Cherryville and the pitch. Shows butt, popped it back foul. And strike one on Huff. The fives are wild, Milton. Five, five, fifth <laughs> inning. That's right. And Coach Reynolds and Huff going to talk it over there. Got a couple other ones, too, now. Hickory, Zach Jarrett. Now, you know who Zach Jarrett is? That's the son of race car driver Dale Jarrett. Really? Zach okay. Jarrett doubles to score two runs to give Hickory a 3-2 lead over the Gaston Braves going to the bottom of the sixth. I wonder yeah. if he can race around the bases. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what he's, he is. He is a very good basketball player. was a very good basketball player at Hickory High. 
And we've got another Hay 2 here in just a moment after the 0-1 pitch. And Shearer looks to second the pitch, and Brett shows bunt, takes yeah, it for a, a strike. Pitch. Yep, on that corner. Hay 2, uh, Clay Alexander listening to us on WCSL. Appreciate it. Got a good one going here. 5-5 five, five ball game now. Terrible fighting back from a 5-1 deficit to tie at this inning on the, an RBI single by High and then a two-run homer by Shoemaker. And the pitch swung on a miss by Huff for out number one. Yeah, that is the first one. Tough break by Huff. He was fooled on the previous pitch. And the uh, batter's Dalton Towery here. Still got a good chance to get the lead here. Does Cherville hadn't had it since they were up one to nothing in the second inning? That big five run fifth inning for Mint Hill, and they've been behind for a while. Brandon Alexander down at second, still after the double. One out now, and Towery asked for time. Dalton tonight, RBI single in the mm -hmm. second, and a walk in the fourth. I thought you can say a walk in the park. <laughs> yeah, in the ballpark. <laughs> Pitch almost hits him. Ball one. Ball one on Towery. Hunter Jackson on deck. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Logan Shear comes set. Look to second. Now the pitch. Bouncer to third. Third baseman can't, can't hold it. it. Short stop now going back to second. It's thrown away there. Alexander is going to third, and Towery will stay at first base. Well, we either got a hit and then a throwing error, or we got two errors, a hit and an error. We say an infield single, an infield single for Towery. Yeah, I don't know a single. And then the throw trying to get Alexander and Milton. They had him. They actually would have had him yeah. had that throw been good, but that throw is Aaron and gets away from the second baseman from the – from the shortstop, yeah, he and gets just far enough away that Alexander can get to thirds, so and now runners at the corners with just one out. And the batter's Hunter Jackson. Go ahead, run 90 feet away for Hunter. He's 0 for 2 tonight. And the pitch from Shear is hit down the third baseline, up the wow. third baseman's arm. He collides with Alexander. Another Alexander hit. is going to come in to score, mm. and that one just run up the arm of the third baseman. RBI single, I think it kind of went off his chest, then his arm. Yeah, and everywhere. RBI single for Jackson. Alexander the score to give Cherubel the 6-5 to five advantage. And how about that? Fans brings up top of the order, Cody Dallinger. We're still only one out and runners first and second. Now 6-5 Cherubel, Mr. Parky, Housel, Drug, TRT, Trevor Cell scoreboard. And has to be that good luck banana pudding. <laughs> yeah, uh, what, you're going to have to. You're not going to talk me out of eating it. No, 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 no. Just leave it there just a little bit longer. And a curveball outside corner, strike one on left-hand hitter Dellinger. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll rub the banana. Well, you, know, we, you just mentioned what uh, uh, an item that I told you I know where it is, and look what happened. Yeah. All you had to do was mention it. Four just runs just mentioned the, the WB. <laughs> That's not the network either. <laughs> no. <laughs> 0 and 1 on uh, Dellinger. Towery at second. Jackson at first. And the pitch fouled off. Oh, no. It no, wasn't it fouled. It got by him. Yep, by the does. catcher. Gets all the way between the catcher's legs to the backstop. Wild pitch allows Towery to third and Jackson to second. About that. And the count to 0 and 2 on Cody. The firecracker. Yeah. Single and a walk tonight. For the top of the order, Cody Dallinger. He has also scored a run. Left-handed hitter waits down the count 0-2, and he asks for time as Coach Reynolds wants to talk to his right fielder, left-handed hitter, Cody Dallinger here. Milton Allen Ford just tweeted a, a stat that I find almost unbelievable. First two games of the Shelby Asheville series, Shelby had 36 hits. <laughs> 36 hits through two games. And well, he, said, uh, he put was, that on there because the night they have three. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, what was it uh, yesterday? Something like 13 to 10 13 final? 13 10 yesterday, yeah. And they had to finish and the that game one, before actually, that one. I followed that game. It went back and forth the whole oh, game. Yeah. I mean, I it was like, you know, 4-3, 5-4, 6-5. It just kept going back and forth. Every time somebody bat, they would take the lead. Mm -hmm. 
And I want to thank Andy and Dan for doing a great job last night of letting letting the uh, Cherville and Lincolnton listeners know mm-hmm. that Cherville and Men Hill were rained out. Exactly. They kept, they kept letting the listeners know for those that didn't and tuned in. Pitch outside, uh, one and two on uh, Dellinger. Jackson at second, and Dalton Towery at uh and Jackson is in a huge secondary lead. I don't know if you can see me sneaking their way over behind the shortstop, but obviously he's not going to steal third. No. It's occupied. And a pitch swung <laughs> on a miss by Dellinger. Well, well, he he's on the seven. left side of the shortstop when the pitch <laughs> he is. is caught. And Dellinger just caught a piece of that one to stay alive. He's on the third base side is what I should say, the third base side of the shortstop. Mm-mm-mm. Better hope the second baseman don't sneak over there. Well, yeah. One two count still on Cody Dellinger. And the pitch went outside. Two and two on Dellinger. Playing here at Fraley Field tonight. Game two of the series. Cherville has taken the lead this inning on four runs. There's one out, runner second and third. And the one or two two pitch coming up here to Cody Dellinger. Sheer, and he struck him out on that one, a high fastball. Yes, he did. Dellinger finally retired. And it brings up the number nine batter of the inning, second batter in the order, but ninth batter of the inning for Cherville, Caleb Naren. You Naren. surprised they've stuck with Shearer through all this? I uh, know. Six, six hits, four runs in the inning, including a home run, a double. Yeah, well, Cherville made the decision to stay with Heath, yep, and look what did. he's done. So, yeah, he has yeah. settled down and pitched Maybe nicely. both pitchers have settled down. Caleb Nairn's one for two on the night with a sacrifice bun as well. And here's a ground ball to second. Should do it. And a 4-3 put out will take care of Cherryville in the inning. Four runs on one, two, three, four, five, six hits, including a two-run homer by Shoemaker. Mm -hmm. One error and two left on again. Cheryl loves to leave two on tonight. Yes, magic number. <laughs> but lead six to five on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Trailer Cell Scoreboard. Your full service service center for your automobile is Rick's Automotive on East Main Street in Cherryville. They do it all at Rick's Automotive. Rick Walker and his staff is dedicated at providing you the best in automotive care. From an oil change to a tune-up, from a tire alignment to a full set of new tires, from heaters to air conditioners, you can get it done at Rick's Automotive. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30. Rick's Automotive, 1001 East Main Street in Cherryville. Call 435-3801. Friends, let's stop spending our weekends driving back and forth from some home improvement warehouse. Let's make one trip to Ace, get help quickly from people who know their stuff, and do it all before our second cup of coffee. Get your weekend back. Ace can help you quickly turn your to-do list into a to-done list. To help out with your weekend projects, see Ferguson's Ace Hardware. Ferguson's Ace Hardware on Highway 150 East in Cherryville, helping you out with your weekend projects. Ace, the helpful place. Your reasons for a personal loan are as individual as you are. As a community bank, we understand that. We're the bank with a focus on service. So we'll help you design a loan plan that fits your needs and your budget. Talk to us about your personal reasons for a personal loan. First National Bank, hometown banking since 1874. Member FDIC. Battling back from a 5-1 deficit. And uh, batter up for Man Hill is Eisenbach. Shuford and Webster due to follow. And uh, Cherville with 11 hits already. Melton including six right there in that fifth. Out, out hitting Man Hill right now, 11 to eight. And uh, the pitch of all from King. Both teams with a home run tonight. It was... Shearer's big grand slam that made it 5-1 to one in the third inning over Mint Hill, but then uh, Tyler Shoemaker's two-run homer tied it up in the bottom of the fifth, and Trevor went on to score another Rocky Bennett run to make it 6-5. to five. That pitch was in the dirt, 2-0 and oh on Eisenbach. Eisenbach tonight, a strikeout and a base hit. 
Pitch from King. Swing and a miss. Now, game three tomorrow night at Independence. Yes. Something we talked about in the break there, David. If something happens and we start getting rain or something and can't finish this game tonight, even though it's five innings complete now, they'd, they'd still finish this game. Yep, they sure would. Wouldn't go down as a win for Cherville until they finish. Yeah, that rule was uh, decided before the series, before the playoffs period started, that they'd finish them all. Two and two now on Eisenbach. And the pitch. Curveball struck him out. Well, they, uh, Mike Powell mentioned it, and I was getting ready to say it myself. Nine straight now, retired by <laughs> Heath King. He allowed a single to um, Eisenbach back in the third after that grand slam from Shear, and that's the last base runner, that single from Eisenbach. And now he gets revenge on him and strikes him out. <laughs> And it brings up Shuford, who has a double, or excuse me, a triple on the night. Can't read my writing. And it's fouled off strike one on Chase Shuford. One for two on the night is Shuford. A 4-3 ground out in the third. We're in the top of the six. And swing and a miss. Strike two. One out, nobody on for Mint Hill. 0-2 oh, the count. I don't know oh, if you recall shooting. or not, but that, that inning where King struggled, he was a little frustrated, too. Some things hadn't went right. You remember the pickoff play at first where Hyde had already come off to charge the bunt? Yeah, and the pitch is a ball, one ball, two strikes. It just seemed like he was a little frustrated about everything going on. Yeah. Since that, though, he has uh, gathered himself, settled down, and has pitched very nicely. 1-2 is the count on Shuford. And the pitch, swing about and that? a miss, struck him out. Got him going for one about ten in a row now. A few inches off the outside of the plate, but he could not hold up. Milton, ten in a row, retired four of those by strikeout. It's now six strikeouts on the night for Heath King. Right, it brings up Webster. Rashad Webster is 0 for 2. Strikeout and a ground out. And the pitch. Ball. 6-5 Cherryville. Mint Hill at bat, top of the six. Two out, nobody on. The pitch. Strike. Called. <laughs> Webster, the right fielder, right-handed batter. And the pitch from King. Wow. Wow, there is a high towering shot. Is it fair or foul? It is foul. Whew. That good line foul or that where we're tied. Oh, that thing was hit well. Yep. And pull it just a little bit more and you got yourself a monster Wilkins there. Let's see where he has uh, played his ball. Rashad Webster here. One two pitch a ball. East Mecklenburg High just finished his senior year. Hadn't decided where to play college ball yet. He's either going to Brevard or Winston-Salem State next year okay. to play. Deuce is wild. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Top of the six, 6'5", six, Cherryville leads Mint Hill. Danny Sullivan just hit a grand slam to give Lincoln County a 13-1 lead over Caldwell in the wow. fifth inning. They're rolling along. Three and two now on Webster. King trying to settle himself a little bit and get this last out. Two up, two down so far here in the sixth. And a 3-2 pitch. I don't recall a lot of 3-2 pitches tonight for King. And this might be the first 3-2 count he's got. And that's ball four. King thought he had it. Glares at the umpire. Yeah, and you know why that long string now comes to an end. But you know what? No better time if it's going to end. And two outs and nobody on, right? Yep. By my book, that was the first three-two count he had gone uh, into tonight, and it's called ball four. And we got a pinch hitter here, maybe. Who knows? With these numbers, yeah. hard to read. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? Bancroft's due up, but that is number what? Looks like a. And he's got a pinch runner for Webster at first. I don't know who's running. We've got a pinch runner at first, and maybe this is Bancroft batting then. That's what the coach come out about the pinch runner. 
Gosh, we can't read these numbers. It's really, really bad. All right, two out, one on for Ben Hill. Top of the sixth, the tying run aboard here. And Bancroft, who has a uh, base hit and a run scored in the third and a strikeout in the fourth, first pitch fouled off. Is 15 the batter? That'd be Bancroft. Is batting? Okay, yes. that's Bancroft. So the coach would come out for the pinch runner at first. And a swing and a miss by Bancroft, 0-2. King settled, trying to settle back down and not worry so much about the base runner or the two-out walk. 0-2 pitch is popped out of play. John Brown, all state foul ball. Thanks again to our camera crew on ktcbroadcasting.com. There's Clint Spencer here in the press box. And uh, out on the roof on the Henry Dome behind third base is Josh Moo Collins. <laughs> Do it, fans. Moo. Okay. Is that moo or boo? Moo. <laughs> moo. As in, as in uh, strike three call on Bancroft. Strikes out the side, Milton. On the 0-2 pitch, he got the strike out there. No runs on no hits, no errors, a walk, and one left. And we go to the bottom of the six, Cherryville holding that 6-5 lead on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard. Get it great. Trust Napa know-how and your Lincoln Auto Parts on North General's Boulevard to have the parts you need to get the job done right. Napa Auto Parts at 136 North General's Boulevard is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m., Saturday 8 to 4.30. Call 704-735-0411 or come by for quick, knowledgeable service from Eddie or Jason. For your car, truck, SUV, or other vehicle, get the right part. And remember, your Napa Auto Parts store in Lincoln has a full machine shop, too. Call 704 704- 735-0411 or come by 136 North Generals Boulevard, Lincoln. In the Gospels of Matthew, Luke, and John, we are called to forgive others and God will forgive us. I find that I can forgive others and I can ask God to forgive me, but sometimes I find it hard to forgive myself. If you are struggling with forgiveness as we all do, come to Ryan Heights United Methodist Church and hear of the Lord's grace, mercy, and forgiveness. I am inviting you to come and worship with us Sundays at 11. I am Kathy McAbee, pastor of Ryan Heights United Methodist Church, and we are located on Madison Street, just up from Betty Ross Park. And they lived happily ever after. Thanks, Mom. Good night, honey. Good night. This moment is brought to you by Bennett Insurance Group, your local Erie insurance agent. For affordable insurance coverage in Cherryville, call Rocky at Bennett Insurance Group at 704-435-0271 and see how you can save. Bennett Insurance Group and Erie Insurance. We've got you covered. It's our true blue promise. Since 1900, the Stamey Funeral Home in Faustin has been serving the families of our area with the finest in funeral service. In 1998, the Tysinger family began to serve the families of the Cherryville community and today are a proud member of that community, providing services with dignity and respect. Caring for your family like our own, that's their slogan. Come talk with manager Pete Kraft about the services they provide at the Stamey Cherryville Funeral Home, 405 North Dixie Street in Cherryville. Either one yet, do we, David? Number four. Number four. Four is what? Pitching? Yes. Sorry. Four is Drew Moore. Drew Moore. That's the one I want to know if his middle name was Barry. Drew Barry Moore. <laughs> Might be. That would have been good. He's listed as a right-handed pitcher and second baseman. Just finished his senior year at Porter Ridge High School and is going to CVCC. He was their college. first relief pitcher on Wednesday night as well. Josh Beam, who led off the fifth, will lead off the sixth for Cherryville. Being one for three on that, a base hit in the fifth and a run scored. And there's a strike called from Drew Moore. And uh, more if anybody's ever said he drew more attention <laughs> than the other guy. He might have. He's probably had <laughs> all kind of stuff. I told I told a lady one time. Uh, 
I said, uh, I said, you must be Denise. And she said, yes. I said, well, I'm the nephew. And she did not <laughs> like that one little bit. <laughs> and it is two and one on uh, Bean. Well, I don't know why she wouldn't. <laughs> uh, two and one. Milton, I just got an area three update. A lot of people from here from Rowan County, they're still going. Their next series, they'll play either High Point or Kernersville. Pop foul. John Brown, Allstate Insurance foul ball. Two and two on Beam. They'll play High Point or Kernersville, and believe it or not, that'll be for a berth in the state tournament. If uh, Rowan could be there again. Oh, my. Two, two, Beam. Bottom of the six, Cheryl up six, five. The old curveball. Stayed high. Three and two count on Bean. Did you know we talked about the Caldwell Gastonia series reverting back to a two out of three? Mm -hmm. Two series is in, in the uh, area three that happened to. Mm. They had to go back. Ball four. Beam walks. Good leading start. off the sixth. Good start here. Beam started it last time in the fifth with a hit, this time with a walk. All right. And the batter up is Cameron High. Well, now let me ask you, with the new pitcher, Mm-hmm. Did Shearer stay in the game? i got to think with that bat he would, but I sure don't see him. I don't see him. see him. Got a new right fielder. We, we, we didn't find out who that was for Webster, did we? We ever find his number? Did anybody be able to tell who the right fielder is? Nope. We'll just have to. Everybody's shaking their head no. Maybe he's got his cell phone on him. We'll text him. Who are you? He's camouflaged out there. Can't pick him up. High bunts, first base side. Good bunt. Good it bunt. is a good bunt. He'll get tagged on the base That's pass by right. the pitcher. One unassisted on the sacrifice bunt by High. Was it the pitcher that did it? Yes. Thank you, sir. One and sack is complete, though. He gets Josh Beam down to second in scoring oh, position sure, now. Sure does. Four. Sir. What was the pitcher's number that was out there earlier? Pitcher that was out there earlier was number, uh, that was Shear. He was number 10. Yep. Oh, he is? Okay. Yeah, he might be. Clint says, I mean, uh, yeah, Clint says he's playing uh, shortstop. Yep, I think he's right. Okay. And the batter is going to be Shoemaker. The big two-run homer is last time up. He's got three RBIs on the night on two hits. Two for three evening for Tyler Shoemaker. And the pitch hits him in the helmet. Shoemaker will get on down to first base, but he... <laughs> Might have a word or two for Drew Moore out there. That ball hit him in the helmet and flew out of here like a foul ball. Wow. And they got to settle this youngster down. He's wild right now. Walked a batter, hit a batter. They go to the sixth inning now at East Lincoln. It's 14-1, to 1, Lincoln County, in total control, not just in the game but of the series against Caldwell County. Surprise, surprise, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know what? In all honesty, that is a two against a three seed, so it should be, you know, <laughs> Lincoln County had a good season. Got a very good team. All right, here is Brandon Alexander. Double his last time up and a run scored. He... He, uh, he was the go-ahead run in the fifth inning for Cherryville. One out, two on for Cherryville here. Bottom of the six, leading 6-5. Game two of the series, and a ground ball foul, third base side by um, Alexander, strike one. Coach Reynolds on the play over there. Yeah, well, good play. And uh, Cherryville leads this series one game to none, leads the ball game here 6-5. to five. Game two last night rained out. In game two here, so getting game two in tonight so far, so good. Weather been a very competitive game, too. 6 5, Cherville on top, but it's been back and forth. Cherville actually had to fight from behind to take this lead. Mm -hmm. Overcome a four run deficit. And the pitch wow. is a ball. Mm, a little surprised by that one. Break there. Yep. Maybe. And Coach Reynolds wants to talk to Brandon Alexander, his big third baseman. They've been sixth in the order tonight, Brandon. And uh, on deck batter, Brett Huff comes over also to see what's going on there. Milton, speaking of competitive series, tied one game apiece, Hickory and the Gaston Braves. Now go to the eighth inning, and Hickory leading three to two in game three. Hickory. That's a tight series there. One ball, one strike, one out here. Cherryville, two on. I'm in the six, one run, post 100 lead. Brandon Alexander waits, big right-handed hitter. 
against the new pitcher, Drew Moore. And the pitch. Shot. Hard hit ball to third. Third baseman will go to second for one. Wow. Down to first for the double play. That was a good-looking double and play, man. And they're out of the inning, and the pitcher, Drew Moore, runs off the mound looking toward the charitable dugout on that play. Well, there's been a Twitter war of words already this week after game one, I've noticed. So oh, okay. There has. Fielder's choice. Uh, no, it wasn't Fielder's choice. Beg your pardon. Alexander hit into the five, what was it, five, four, three? Five, four, three. Five, four, three double play. And Cherryville leaves a runner on. No runs in the inning on no hits, no errors, one left. We've played six complete, still six to five. We'll be right back. In the gospel. Just like you love Cherryville sports, Cherryville has a hometown skilled nursing facility that loves their work too. Peak Resources Cherryville, where caring comes to life. For a tour of Peak Resources Cherryville, call us at 704-435-6029 or just stop by. Located off Delview Road at 700 Self Street in Cherryville. And we'd love to meet you. Peak Resources Cherryville, providing exceptional nursing and rehabilitation care at Cherryville. Again, phone 704-435-6029 for Peak Resources Cherryville. Super Tuesday is back at Medical Center Pharmacy on East Academy Street in Cherryville. Cheeseburgers for just 99 cents. And it's time to get your flu shots. And don't forget about the new kids vitamin free program. Pick up a free bottle of children's chewable multivitamins every 30 days. Parent must come in and sign up each child for their 30 day supply at Medical Center Pharmacy, 607 East Academy Street in Cherryville. Uh, Mint Hill made last time. Number 11 is the batter here in Griffin's spot, the number nine hole. Number 11 is Taylor Kroll. But we don't know if he's, he might be the new right fielder. Taylor Kroll is in the number nine spot for Will Griffin. He's a right-handed batter. Kroll is, and there's a pitch for a strike from uh, from uh, King. Kroll is. Sorry, I'm getting all kind of questions yeah. there. He'll be a senior this coming fall at Butler High School. Right. First year of A ball or senior ball. One ball, one strike on Kroll. He might be your new right fielder. You reckon? Very well, could be. Because uh, the former pitcher Shearer moved to shortstop, and that's where Griffin Tell was. Tell me again his number. <laughs> number eleven. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> That's so sad I, when I'm sitting right here at it and can't tell. But, and it dies right in front of the plate. Jackson hurries the throw nice and got play. it. Great throw. Great Two play. to three on that put out. And, yeah, Hunter Jackson out from behind the plate very quickly. All right, so that brings up uh, David Marvin, the top of the order. Marvin, one for three on the night. Base hit and an RBI and a run scored in the third. Sandwiched between two flyouts to right field tonight. The pitch from King, strike called. King, the right-handed pitcher for Cherryville. Trouble in the third, but has held him at bay since then. Strike call. 0-2 on Marvin. Marvin, right-handed batter. Top of the order for Men Hill BFW post, 40-59. And the pitch. Ground ball, third base. Alexander has it. Nice throw play. in time. Yes, smooth over there. Well, Brandon Alexander. Milton, I want to mention something, uh, a plug of my own real quick here. But uh, been a couple years, but starting uh, back tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, sports talk. It's been on WLON for, for, I don't know, 10 years now or whatever. Back on WCSL and on WOHS. Back on in uh, Cherryville, and Shelby, so we'll be glad to have those listeners. Good time yep. for it, too, with the Legion playoffs heating up and football around the corner. And the uh, uh, two-ounce pitch is high to black. And, and a big thing is you you can take phone calls now. That's right. <laughs> Back to taking <laughs> phone calls. Last couple calls. months, you've had no phones in the studio you were working out of in Lincoln. 1-0 <clears throat> pitch. There's a base hit in the center field for Blaylock. First hit since the third inning for Mint Hill. And let's see if Cherryville can get Shear here, who's now the shortstop and has the uh, Grand Slam home run tonight, one for three. 
but that grand slam in the third made it five to one at that point. But since then, Cherville scored five unanswered to have a six-five lead mm -hmm. here in the top of the seventh. You know, and I mentioned to Danny the other night when I hear Shearer, I don't know if you remember softball legend Rick Crusher Shearer, played for Howard's Furniture for years. Yeah. I oh, think I've heard so that's that. who I think of when I hear this Logan Shearer. It's spelled a little differently, but so yeah. Rick Shearer was a leadoff guy that Milton was probably uh, 6'3 or 6'4 and 300 pounds, bad leadoff. Mm. <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. a beast. That's a, and the pitch, Jack Swing called a strike. He's that big. He might have said, I'm leading off <laughs> yeah. and y'all ain't doing nothing about it. I'm batting every time I get around. 0-1 <laughs> <laughs> on Shearer. We're in the seventh. If it could retire him here, might not have to see him again tonight. True. Setting way outside was Jackson. One ball, one strike. And he Shearer. hit him right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> a little high. One run, chair of a lead, and big hitter at the plate here for Menhill. Pitch from King, and this is a fly ball to center, playable for him. Beam. And plenty of room to make that play, and that'll do it for Man Hill in the inning. No runs a hit, no errors, and one left on. We go to the bottom of the seventh, still 6-5 Cherryville on a Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug TRT Trailer Cell scoreboard. Mid For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Now open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Try their all-you-can-eat pancake special. All you can eat for only $3.99 every day. And don't forget about the big Sunday lunch specials. Every day is a great day to eat at Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Call 704-276-1155 for all of your catering needs, too. Golf carts are the specialty at RM Motors in Cherryville. No matter where you live, it's well worth the drive to RM Motors in Cherryville for your custom made golf carts. Prices start at only $18.50, and all carts come with a 30 day warranty. Come see the selection today. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 30 to 5 30, Saturdays, 8 30 till 2. And be sure to check out RM Pond and Trade and RM Motor Tire and Automotive Care, all located on the Dallas Cherryville Highway, one mile outside of Cherryville. Call 704-445-0103. The 2013 Dodge event is underway at Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Lincoln. Coming now for some great deals on the new 013 Dodge models, including the new 2013 Dodge Dart starting at $15,995, or at least a new 2013 Dodge Dart for $149 per month for 24 months. Or how about the new 2013 Dodge Charger, starting at $25,995, or lease it for only $269 per month. See Abernathy for all the details. Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge, 1442 East Main Street in Lincoln. You wouldn't want your favorite sports team to only play offense or only play defense. So when it comes to insurance, why settle for someone that can handle only your auto policy? Bring your home and auto insurance to Allstate now, and you can say big on both. You deserve someone that can assist you more. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? Hey, sports fans, call Allstate agent John Brown at 704-435-1920 today. Carolina Care Center strives to provide quality care and promote an excellent quality of life. They now offer Carolina Care Cottages. All Carolina Care services are now available to cottage residents on an outpatient basis. Cottage residents have priority to beds if need at Carolina Care Center. The two bedroom cottages are fully equipped. Reserve your new home today by calling 704-435-4161. Carolina Care, offering a standard of excellence. Let their family take care of your family today at Carolina Care Center. It's time to jump in. Jump in and cool off with a dip in your backyard pool. To help keep your pool sparkling clean all summer long, see Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. They carry a full line of BioGuard products. Plus, they'll analyze your water to make sure you get the right blend of BioGuard. And keep your yard looking great with a new Huxvarna Zero Turn 
tractor, push mower, or trimmer. Carolina Hardware and Garden Center on the Reachville Road in Lincoln. What are some of the greatest moments in sports? For me, I think of the basketball games in my uncle's driveway when I was a kid. He wasn't just my uncle, he was a friend. When he died, his funeral allowed me to share what he meant to me. It was a meaningful funeral for a life worth celebrating. As a member of the National Funeral Directors Association, the staff at Carpenter's Funeral Home understand the importance of creating a meaningful funeral service for a life worth celebrating. For more information, call Carpenter's Funeral Home at 704-435-6711. Carpenter's Funeral Home, excellent in cremation and funeral services. Bottom of the seventh. Got to get uh, good man, tight game six more times. You know it's a tight game, but you'll take it after being down five to one early in this game. Oh yeah. And that's high from Moore. Moore is just really he benefited big time from that double play and to end the six. He's been everywhere. He's walked a batter, hit a batter, and. Uh, Kevin says it is a final now. Shelby wins 5-2, to two, so they advance to the next round to play either Lincoln County or Caldwell. Foul ball by Huff, 2-2 two and two count. So Shelby moving on. Yep, Shelby a winner, 5-2, Danny. Yep, close out the series. They won, like, they won that three games tonight. 3-0, yep. And you know what, Asheville been playing pretty well. So that's a nice, nice series sweep for Shelby. 2-2 two and two on Huff and the pitch. In the dirt, three and two. Asheville had beat uh, higher seed Union County in the first round. Mm -hmm. so. All right, three-two pitch on Huff leading off here in the bottom of the seventh at Fraley Field. And the wind, the pitch from the right-hander Moore, called strike three. Wow. Yep. That's twice now that Huff has been fooled. Now, yeah. Earlier it was on strike two in his last at bat. And he struck out swinging, but this time just frozen. Yep. Yeah. All right, bang, blah, 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 blah. Brings up Dalton Towery. Towery two for two with a walk tonight and an RBI. Easy for you to say. Yeah. Uh, Good competitive game tonight, as was the game one down at Independence. A back and forth game as well. In there for a strike. Towery, right-handed hitter, left fielder for Cherville Post 100. The 0 one pitch. Did he, he swing around. I don't know if he caught a piece of it or it bounced off the plate maybe, and it's 0-2 on Towery. They go to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Milton down at South Point. Hickory leads Gaston 4-2. to two. Where's that series stand? 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Who's leading? Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a rip but foul into the charitable bullpen by Towery. At this point, two. Hickory is since they have a 4-2 lead <laughs> well, in game three. You got to say, yeah, you got to think. Maybe they are. Will Cherryville have a two games to none lead going back to Independence High School tomorrow night? Or will well, Ben Hill come back in this ball game? They got their opportunity right now, don't they? Sure do. Bottom of the seventh here, 6-5 lead. and. Towery wanted time. Umpire did not grant, and Towery fouled the next pitch off. 0-2. Still 0-2 on Dalton Towery, fighting them off against Drew Moore. You about had me say Barry Moore a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> uh, I would love game. it if his middle name was Barry, though. That would yeah. be great. And the pitch swung on a miss. Wow, nice pitch. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Or more. Well, the terrible batters have struck out tonight, Milton, by um, Mint Hill pitching. I'm going to count them real quick. Mm -hmm. A lot. Seven, I think. Mm -hmm. Eight. I think eight. It's a lot for Cherubal. And here's Hunter Jackson. One for three on the night. A big RBI single in the fifth. Let me go back and tell you nine. Nine strikeouts tonight against Cherubal hitters. Okay. That bounces in there by one. The uh, RBI single by Jackson in the fifth inning put Cherville in front. Where we are now, six to five. One zero pitch from Moore. It's bounced in there again. Are well, you going to bounce them up, or you might as well do it when nobody's on, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, because the runners would be running all over the place That's right. <laughs> on those wild balls. One and two there. Two.
2 0 to Jackson. Foul ball. John Brown, All State Insurance foul. Well, Milton Events Hefner is listening to us and watching the Braves. He's not too happy with the Braves right now. Uh -oh. They trail 4 0 to the Reds in the fifth inning. All right. And uh, Coach Reynolds wants to talk to Hunter Jackson here. 2 1 count on his catcher, Hunter Jackson. Long conversation with him down at third base. Yes, line. it is. Coach Reynolds always coaching. And now we're ready to go. He thinks that no, we're not. Coach Reynolds says, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot yeah. something. And and eat your Wheaties. That's right. <laughs> uh, two and one. Well, the first conversation could have been about breakfast tomorrow, so we don't know. <laughs> 2-1 pitch coming up here to Hunter Jackson. Drew Moore, it is high ball three. And the 3-1 to Hunter on the way from the right-hander Moore. And it's a strike. Full well, count. Got an opportunity, does Moore, to strike out the side here. Vince must be listening. Is He's that right? listening to us. Yeah. <laughs> Three two pitch. Third base side just foul. Unhappy with the Braves, I guess. Vince, there's still time. Yeah. Be all right. Time for Cherville was down by four. That's right. It ain't over yet. Either either game. This one or the Braves. I just wonder if Danny Aker has any more Werther's Originals over there. Yeah. Ah, he said, yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. Dave is giving me his. Yeah, I have trouble getting it down in the uh, between, in, between ends. <laughs> 3-2 pitch. Swung on a miss. He did it, didn't he? He struck out the side for Cherryville. Nothing doing in the seventh. Three up, three down. We go to the eighth inning, and it remains 6-5 uh, Cherryville on the Mr. Sparky House Drug TRT Trader Cell scoreboard. The two... In the nation, they go by guardian, lifesaver, and friend. At Nationwide Insurance, we just call them agents. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation that cares. Nationwide is on your side. Your Nationwide Insurance agent in Cherryville is Sandy Cunningham Nationwide Insurance. 1608 East Church Street. Call 704-445-1990. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates. Columbus, Ohio. Subject to underwriting guidelines, review, and approval. Get the Grasshopper Advantage with a new Grasshopper Mower from West End Sales in Vail. And right now you pay zero interest for 54 months with equal monthly payments. Come on in to West End Sales for all the details. Not only will you see the difference, you will experience the difference. Make a Grasshopper your next mower from West End Sales. Highway 18 North at the 27 West Intersection. Get 0% financing on the Grasshopper Mowers from West End Sales in Vail. Get it cranked. With a stop at Field Starter and Alternator in Cherryville, they start all the winners. They do it all at Field Starter and Alternator, from starters to alternators, generators, rebuilt and repairs. With two locations, 457 Paul H. Beam Road and 319 East Main Street, both in Cherryville. Yes, get it cranked and get it running with a visit to Field Starter and Alternator of Cherryville. Start. What the? You finally put the kids to sleep. Sweet dreams. No, the battery. Yay! Your dinner guests will be here in five minutes. Not now. Oh. Mr. Sparky Electricians are around the corner and ready to help. Get a free service call with any repair from Mr. Sparky today. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 Sparky. Batting fourth in the order, a single, a ground out, and a pop-up tonight. Popped up to the catcher his last time up. First pitch, foul off, strike one. 
Keith King, the starter for Cherryville, working here in the top of the eighth. Fouled off. John Brown, All-State, parking lot insurance foul ball there. 0-2 on Simmons. Simmons, a left-handed batter. And he's their third baseman. At least he might be. <laughs> they did so much switching around a while ago. We don't know. Swing point. and miss. Big strikeout to start the eighth inning. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, you can't tell me that Heath King just hasn't got stronger and better as the night has progressed here. Oh, and he's on a mission right now, he, he looks is. like. I mean, he's so determined out there. He is ready to get this one. Dalton Eisenbach. Eight strikeouts now for King on the hill. King of the hill. That's right. He is. <clears throat> Outside, ball one. You can hear the terrible fans wanting that pitch, Milton. It was right where he, the catcher called for it, but he did set up outside, hey, about a foot outside. So. Yeah. And he threw it in to the target, but he was outside. And there's strike called. What time we start this one? 7.03. Seven, 7.03. Oh, seven, oh, a little over two hours long here, about two hours and ten minutes into it. Been a good one. 1-1 one, one count. And the pitch. Curveball, strike two. All right. Looking stronger. Eisenbaugh, first baseman, right-handed batter. He's got one hit and three at-bats, two strikeouts otherwise. Milton, hopefully we can provide our listeners with finals of all the other games tonight. As we already said, Shelby won over Asheville 5-2 to two because it looks like we'll be the last game finished if Lincoln County holds on to their big lead. They'll finish in seven. Mm -hmm. So that's yet to be seen. One-two pitch. Called strike three. And the catcher just did the uh, – Remember the uh, Leslie Nielsen, what was the name of the movie? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, Naked Gun. Yeah, there you go. He did the moonwalk. The umpire. Yep. When he called that strike. Mm -hmm. He about fell down. <laughs> Seriously, he <laughs> stumbled. I know it. He did. He did. Animated. I like it. Well, he gets yeah, into I'd it. I like to see him more often. Nine really. strikeouts now for Heath King. Looking for double digits here on the next one. Terrence Jones, the play umpire, and he's <laughs> – King setting up outside. Ball one to um, – could this be Shuford still? We don't lose a number 14. <laughs> oh, man, no. It's not 14. It's not. 14 oh, is batting. he? Okay. I got Shuford. No, that's, how, that's how camouflage they are. I did not think that was 14. No, you can't tell. It's in, yeah, it is. I can't hardly see the number. Especially Much less if, what it is. Especially after they sweat a little bit and everything, the shirt gets wet. Yeah. Get it. 1-1 one, one count, and the pitch, ball two. What we should have them do when they walk up the plates, just look up here and go one, four. That's right. Each yes, batter. What's your number, young man? Two and one. I'll tell you what, I got some masking tape for the next game. We'll <laughs> put their numbers on their back. Fly ball center field should do it. Be right, right there it. on it. Three up, three down in the eighth inning for Men Hill. Cherryville holds on to the 6-5 lead. Mr. Sparky Owls Drug TRT Trailer Cell Scoreboard. And they lived happily ever after. Thanks, Mom. Discover something for everyone at the Red Rabbit 27 Shops in Lincoln. For women, you'll find handbags, sunglasses, garden decor, and more. For men, there's outdoor furniture, garden tools, saddles, boots, and chaps. For kids, check out the selection of children's clothes, dog clothes, and baby blankets, too. Everyone will love the birdhouses, artwork, pottery, plants, wicker furniture, antique furniture, and jewelry, too. Located on Highway 27 east of Lincoln, Red Rabbit 27, open Monday through Saturday. Call 704-240-4448. Bruce isn't sure why he's out here, but this happens every time Aunt Betty and her allergies come to town, doesn't it, Bruce? But now, Train can help downtrodden animals like Bruce. A Train Clean Effect system removes up to 99.98% of the allergens from all the air that it heats or cools, so your owners will never choose Aunt Betty over you again. Let's go find your family a train dealer. Your train comfort specialist is Roland Black Heated and Cooling. Call 704-865-1375. Roland Black Heated and Cooling. It's hard to stop a train. Trailers for everything, and we mean it, at TRT Trailer Sales in Lincoln, 3302 Gastonia Highway. Trailers for hauling livestock, motorcycles, and cars. 
you'll find dump trailers, utility, and landscaping trailers. You'll find racing trailers with finished interiors, plus the tag-along and gooseneck trailers, insulated trailers with tack compartments and 110 packages. Call toll-free at 1-877-279-7465 or visit the website, trttrailersales.com. He's, he's, on, he's in the zone. He's, so he's that's right. We're focusing on this game. Cherryville, Cody Dallinger will lead it off. Cody, two, four, three with a walk also tonight. Left-handed hitter, top of the order. Dellinger and Aaron and Beam do up here. Pitch from uh, Moore is a uh, – is that called a strike? Yeah. Yes, it was. Strike one on Dellinger. Dellinger the pitch. two for three tonight with a walk. Foul ball. 0 for 2, 0 and 2. Getting an update here from – Lincoln County, it's a final now. Lincoln County wins in seven innings, 14 to three. Mm. So Caldwell is now that series is two, two games, 2-0 mm -hmm. Lincoln County. Caldwell down. And they, Milton, they have scored. Lincoln County scored 26 runs in two games. Oh, a line shot right at the first baseman. Dellinger just missed one down the right field line. He hit it hard. That's two hard line yes, outs by terrible hitters. Dellinger's just been hitting it hard just about all night. Brings up Caleb Naren. Aaron won for three with a sacrifice bunt also tonight. Get that, Danny, 14-3 to three on that final? Yes, sir. So Caldwell County would have to then win Seven three in a row. Innings, that's right. Mm -hmm. Three in a row. And uh, ball one I, on Aaron. I don't think Lincoln County is going to allow that with the pitching that they have. They haven't thrown Norton yet, their best pitcher, mm. because he pitched game five of the last series. This is a slow roller to the shortstop. And what Shears throw in time. What a play by the shortstop. Excellent defensive play. How about that? Yes, it was. Going to his right, fielding an off-balance throw all the way to first and got a pretty quick runner in there. Mm-hmm. Left-handed uh, hitter yeah. and uh, good speed in Aaron, and he still got the throw over there. And that was a, I had that's a major league it. play. Yes, it was. I had a hit all over it. Two up, two down for Cherubel, and I bring Josh Beam up. Josh, quiet night early on, but then in the fifth inning, he got a hit and scored a run, and then he walked in the sixth. The pitch is a ball. Two out, nobody on for Cherryville in the bottom of the eighth, leading six to five. If they don't get any Rocky Bennett insurance runs here, going to have to try to Hold them in check in the top of the ninth. Get to win here. Ground ball to second. Looks like that's going to do it. Four Very quick. three put out. And it's three up, three down Cherryville. So we go to the top of the ninth. Do or die time in this game for Mint Hill. As they trail Cherryville six to five. Mr. Sparky House Drug TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard. There you go, Ann. Your new account is now open. Just one more little thing. Here's your card. What was that? It's my new bank. Every time I turn around, I get hit with another fee. You need to get an account at Carolina Federal Credit Union. She's right. Tired of getting hit by bank fees? Switch to Carolina Federal Credit Union today. Make those pains go away. Here's your receipt. Shane Calloway invites you to see Cherryville Printables for your sports embroidery, screen printing, and promotional items. Plus, if you're a member of a sports team, the new Cherryville Printables sells uniforms and sporting good apparel, including New Era and Flex Fit hats. Plus, name brand apparel including Nike, Augustus, Holloway, Ashworth, Adidas, Carhartt, and Dry Duck. And they can personalize any item. And be sure to ask about their special fundraising pricing. See their products in Medical Center Pharmacy or call 704-748-3550. That's Shane Calloway and Cherryville Printables. Again, 704-748-3550. Webster, anybody know who this is? Trying to figure out his number. 13, you say? Well, Tyler and, and is it Andes? A-N-D-E-S? Tyler Andes? Andes? The right. Andes. The Andes, I don't think. 
Okay, he was the pinch runner for Webster, so 13 is batting for the first time tonight. Tyler Andes, who is a rising senior at Porter Ridge High School, right-handed batter. Pitch from King is a strike, and it's 0-2 quickly on Andes. And he'll got to get at least one run here to keep this game going. Our chair will take it to end. Strike three call. How about that? Cherryville, two outs away. No, called strike three, wasn't it? Um, yes, called strike three. Danny asked, was he swinging? Um, is this Bancroft? Well, that's a good question, too. Yes, the, the numbers are harder to read now than they were when the game began. <laughs> we because got, they're we're tired away. At, they're sweating. Okay. Who is? Drew Moore, the pitcher. Drew Moore, number four, is the batter in Bancroft's spot. Strike in there from King. No one pitch from Heath King. Swing and a miss. Big swing by Moore. Moore, right-handed batter for those of you who are not watching us on ktcpodcasting.com. 0-2 pitch, swing, and a miss, struck him out. How about that? We are down to one, and Terrible <laughs> taking a 2-0 lead. And I tell you, I don't know what's got into Heath King. He's fired up the way he's walking around out there. Yeah, he's he's very, demonstrative. Very animated. Yeah, one, two, three, four. I'm going to count them again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11 strikeouts on the night. Heath King in double figures. Pinch hitter coming. Column. Coming here for Kroll. They take the Kroll he was is. coming up and they called him back. He's got a pinch hitter here for Kroll. 10? 19. No, 19. 19 is Sergio Patsy, a grad from Porter Ridge High School. Yeah, he played the other night an inning or two. Going to Brunswick Community College. He goes there, I guess. He's a, maybe just finished his first right. year there. Right. All right, Sergio Patsy, right-handed batter. Two out, nobody on. Pitch is a ball. This is, the, by the way, I didn't say when the inning began, but this is the seven, eight, and nine spots in the order. And all these guys facing King for the first time tonight, swinging a miss. Get this batter out and not have to worry about that top of the order coming That's right. Out. Finish this one off here. One and one on Patsy. The pitch. Check swing didn't go. Did he go? Face umpire no, first says no. And he gets the last call. <laughs> <laughs> Heath King has struck out four of the last five batters he's faced. 11 on the night. 2-1 pitch. Strike Man. call. Fast ball on the corner that <laughs> the batter Patsy didn't even flinch at. King. Like he didn't have a. Looking to go to the difference. Swing at it, yeah. Two balls, two strikes, two out. And the pitch. Did he go? No. Full count on Patsy. Sergio Patsy. 3-2 the count. Two out, nobody on. 6-5 Cherubo leads. Menhill batting top of the ninth. One strike to get. One out to get. The pitch. And he struck him out. And Cherryville wins the game. Heath King goes the distance. All nine innings for Heath King, <laughs> and he is one fired up young man out there. Big win for Cherville Post 100, a 6-5 win. They win in the close games now, and that is uh, that's just huge right there. You just don't know how huge it is because we thought now, if Cherville won it, they were going to have to win close games, and they're doing so. Right, and as we said about Caldwell County and Lincoln County, Caldwell's going to have to win three in a row. Now Men Hill's going to have to That's win. That's exactly three right. Eight. That's exactly right. They're a tough team, and they it's still uh, nothing's decided yet. We're going back to Independence tomorrow night for Game Three. Kind of a stunned uh, Men Hill uh, group of ball players there, though. I don't think they expected this. I know they did from Cherryville. No, and uh, and they are down in the series, two games to none. Game Three tomorrow night, and Pastor Vince texts us: "Complete game, complete game." <laughs> Yep, complete game weather-wise, complete game for Heath King. Awesome prayer. And that was. He he, uh, he asked for a complete game in the prayer. That's exactly right. All right, we'll be back to wrap it up with the um, 
Cherryville Printables post game show coming up. Final score, Miss Sparky House Drug TRT Trader Sales Scoreboard is Cherryville 6, Mint Hill 5. Stay with us, fans. We used to practice in a storage unit. What makes a Cherryville Federal Bank mortgage better? My apartment couldn't hold all the equipment. Plus, it wasn't a great way to make friends with the neighbors. I got a raise at my day job, and I was like, maybe I can afford a house. So I go down to see Ed at Cherryville Federal, just to see what was out there. He asked all about my job, how much I make, if I have anything saved for a down payment. Then he says I might be a perfect fit for some special home loan programs. He got me pre-qualified, so I knew how much house I could shop for. Now, I'm a homeowner. Me, a homeowner. With a couple of bedrooms, a porch, a garage, a garage band, and a mortgage that fits me. Bankers who listen, mortgages that fit. That's what makes Cherryville Federal Bank better. An equal housing lender. Member FDIC. If you want to be treated like family, stop by the drugstore in Lincoln and Vail or Boger City and you will get just that. The drugstore is locally owned and operated. George and his staff take great pride in giving all their customers fast, efficient, quality customer service. They can help you with any prescription or home health care need you may have. Find them on Facebook or at tdspharmacies.com. The drugstore would like to welcome you to their family. Your full-service service center for your automobile is Rick's Automotive on East Main Street in Cherryville. They do it all at Rick's Automotive. Rick Walker and his staff is dedicated at providing you the best in automotive care. From an oil change to a tune-up, from a tire alignment to a full set of new tires, from heaters to air conditioners, you can get it done at Rick's Automotive. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30. Rick's Automotive, 1001 East Main Street in Cherryville. Call 435-3801. Friends, let's stop spending our weekends driving back and forth from some home improvement warehouse. Let's make one trip to Ace, get help quickly from people who know their stuff, and do it all before our second cup of coffee. Get your weekend back. Ace can help you quickly turn your to-do list into a to-done list. To help out with your weekend projects, see Ferguson's Ace Hardware. Ferguson's Ace Hardware on Highway 150 East in Cherryville, helping you out with your weekend projects. Ace, the helpful place. Your reasons for a personal loan are as individual as you are. As a community bank, we understand that. We're the bank with a focus on service. So we'll help you design a loan plan that fits your needs and your budget. Talk to us about your personal reasons for a personal loan. First National Bank, hometown banking since 1874. Member FDIC. Just like you love Cherryville sports, Cherryville has a hometown skilled nursing facility that loves their work too. Peak Resources Cherryville, where caring comes to life. For a tour of Peak Resources Cherryville, call us at 704-435-6029 or just stop by. Located off Delview Road at 700 Self Street in Cherryville. And we'd love to meet you. Peak Resources Cherryville, providing exceptional nursing and rehabilitation care at Cherryville. Again, phone 704-435-6029 for Peak Resources Cherryville. Is that fit? That's what makes Cherryville Federal Bank. As we go to the Cherryville Printables post-game show here, Milton Baker and David Kiever with you after a big, exciting uh, one-run uh, victory for Cherryville. And, uh, it was that. Uh, 6-5 of the final on the Mr. Barky House Drug TRT Trader Sales Scoreboard. You know what I really liked uh, was the fact that Heath King, with so much emotion, <laughs> had a five-run inning, and we wondered if he would stay in the game. And, boy, did he really pick it up and pitch sure. well. 
from that point on. Gave up, what, one hit after that? One hit end. and one walk after that. 30. The line score is I have it for uh, mm -hmm. Cherryville. Six runs, 12 hits, one error, nine left on. Exactly. For Mint Hill, I've got five runs, nine hits, one error, four left on. And I have the same, so we must have done something halfway, we, right? Huh? We were listening to each other. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Heath King gets the win, 11 strikeouts, one walk. He only went 3-2 count on two batters. Yep. And he walked one of them, and the other 3-2 count was the last batter of the game he struck out. He struck out the side in the uh, ninth inning to preserve the victory. Heath King just got fired up and stronger and stronger he did. as things went on. He did, and, and it had the team behind him the same way, uh, Milton. So uh, Cherryville playing with a lot of uh, enthusiasm and momentum now. Going back to Independence High School tomorrow night. Could wrap it up. Yes. With a win. Yes. Danny's going to go with you. I'll probably head down and watch, but okay. uh, give you and Danny the chance to call one together and yeah. hopefully the uh, clinching game, hopefully. the sweep, the game, so. that, the game that is the sweep. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice. I, I'd, I'd love to do that. So uh, uh, we'll be down there tomorrow night. Let's look at in our in our charitable printables post-game show. Let's look at our uh, player of the game awards. First of all, the defensive player of the game brought to you by First Baptist Church and the Creed Coffee House. I'm going to go with the uh, big guy at third base, Brandon Alexander. Yep. Nice. Big put outs over there. Made some nice defensive plays, especially in the early going that mm -hmm. uh, kept Cherville post 100 in the game. So Brandon Alexander out of Burns High School, rising senior, is our defensive player of the game, brought to you by First Baptist Church and the Creek Coffee House. Our hitter of the game tonight is brought to you by, as always, Medical Center Pharmacy, East Academy Street in Cherryville, with uh, two hits and three RBIs, including a home run that tied it up in the fifth inning as Cheryl had to battle back from a 5-1 deficit. Milton, That's speaking of emotional players, uh, <laughs> uh, Tyler Shoemaker, he, he, is, he, he is a very emotional player out there as well. Mr. So. T, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Shoemaker, the big guy, the home run in the fifth that tied the game. Cheryl went on to take the lead in the fifth at 6-5, to five, and then the rest of it was just a pitcher's duel by right. squad. And so uh, Tyler Shoemaker, hitter of the game, two hits, um, Two for three, and he was also hit by a pitch in an at bat. Mm -hmm. So he got on base there, and uh, he was our hitter of the game, brought to you by Medical Center Pharmacy, East Academy Street, Cherryville. Now, the overall player of the game, brought to you by Peak Resources, Cherryville. Oh, overall player of the game. It's a hmm. no doubter, huh? Hmm. It's a no brainer. Hmm. Wonder who, wonder who. <laughs> yes, indeed. Heath King. Heath King, the uh, overall player of the game tonight, the complete game, nine inning victory. Uh, struck out 11, walked one batter. Has has anybody pitched a better game this year? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Not not in a not in a terrible post 100 uniform. Mm -mm. Heath King, especially yeah. at, a, at a, a bigger time. Yeah, just finishing his freshman year at Belmont Abbey, and he's he came through big big time tonight for Cherryville. Got rocked around in that uh, third inning, mm -hmm. but he did. outside of that, man, uh, he held them to one hit after that third inning. That one hit and one walk. The only two. Uh, base runners he allowed the rest of the way and in that stretch Milton not just that but in that stretch one two three four five uh, six seven eight nine ten strikeouts of his 11 in that stretch mm -hmm. mm, just amazing so what a night for Heath King and he is our overall player of the game tonight brought to you by Peak Resources Cherryville so I guess that'll wrap it up here from Fraley Field Cherryville uh, leading the series now two games to uh, none best three out of five going back to Independence tomorrow night Cherry will post 100 chance to wrap it up uh, with a win on the road if they can do it tomorrow night. And Danny and I will be on the air. The guys, who's going to be our crew tomorrow night, camera crew? Uh, Clint and somebody will be there okay. tomorrow night with the cameras. Josh, thank you for your job tonight out there on the roof. How was it out there? Great. Did you get wet? Nope. Nope, didn't get wet. Just rained a little bit at the very beginning of the ball game. Thank you, Clint, for everything, too, and David. And we'll say so long then from Fraley Field. Absolutely. We'll Final. talk tomorrow morning. Throw yeah. that in there one more time. Yeah, on WLN, WCSL, and WHS. Back on all three stations tomorrow morning, 8 to 10. Give right. you a good rundown of Legion baseball. All right. Uh, big crew here in the press box tonight. And thank all the uh, folks here for their assistance uh, with everything. And we are going to say so long for now. American Legion Baseball, a production of KTC Broadcasting. This is Milton Baker for everybody involved saying good night.